Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no order. Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Oh, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Sing with me, somebody say. Jesus is the answer for all situations today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Oh, above him there's no other. Jesus is the way I say above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way hallelujah Jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other above him there's no other above him there's no other one more time above him there's no other Jesus is the way thank you Jesus Alpha Omega Ancient of Days that I give you praise. I want to thank you for your power. I want to thank you for your mercy, for your glory. I want to thank you, oh God, for making today a reality. Thank you for anyone and everyone you're bringing Jehovah onto this holy mountain to encounter your love, to encounter your mercy, to encounter your glory on this holy mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, on this mountain, I'm asking today let only your will be done in the name of jesus christ let your will be done let everyone that will come onto this holy mountain encounter your glory your power your mercy in the name of jesus christ may we encounter daddy your glory your power your mercy by fire by force in the name of jesus christ even that lord that you have started to reveal unto us from the previous broadcast, I'm asking Ancient of Days, I'm asking Alpha Omega, I'm asking beginning and the end, come and do what you alone can do on this holy broadcast and let every man in Jesus' name be lifted. Let every man in Jesus' name hear from you, receive from you, be lifted in Jesus' name. Beginning and the end, Alpha Omega, first and the last, Father, move on this holy mountain. Do, O oh God, your will. Do, O oh God, your bidding. Jehovah, move, O oh God. Jehovah, move, O oh Lord, on this mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of today's broadcast, let your people encounter your power, your glory. Let your people encounter your power, your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. On this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, Daddy, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Lord, I reveal your name, Yahweh. Will ya will ya will in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, first and the last, beginning at the end, 
Daddy, do only that which is pleasing in thy sight, and Daddy, share glory with no man. Take over, take control, Daddy. Glad in every heart, glad in every soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have decreed. Amen, so shall it be. Amen, amen, so shall it be. Amen, amen, so shall it be. Hallelujah, praise God, praise God. I want to thank God for what God had started doing in our midst. And I believe that what he has started, he will perfect. It's been glorious coming together and watching all the ministries God have permitted to come onto this holy mountain, blessing souls and being used of God mightily. Please allow God use you beyond what anybody can fathom on this holy mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Allow God to use you. Allow God to use you and let his glory be seen in Jesus' name. Today we are looking at powerful divine multiplication and we said that this powerful divine multiplication does not even look at the percentage of whatever you have or percentage of what is around. This is when God says it is time for you to be in, to be blessed or to be multiplied. That is it. And I'm believing God as we see what God is doing. As we see what God is doing, I believe God by his mercies. As we start to see what God is doing in Jesus' name, more of his glory, more of his power more of his glory more of his power will be you know will be showcased beyond what we can ever imagine or think in the name of jesus christ so in jesus name lift up your heart and mind to prophesy now okay lift up your heart and mind prophesy now and what do, do we want to prophesy want to prophesy by the grace of god want to prophesy peace and joy we know on this mountain when we prophesy peace and joy the presence of god is always there to make it a reality for us. Please make sure you fasten your seat belt. Allow God use you. Every ministry that God will be using on this mountain, I celebrate you. Everyone that will be sharing the broadcast, everyone that will be typing, everyone that will be pressing the emoticons, everyone that will be um, also supporting us by subscribing. So try and support the, the mountain, support this uh, page. All you need to do is to subscribe. Just click that that subscription button okay as you do that you are really helping the mountain you know to to achieve its purpose god bless you do it not unto man do it as the lord leads you it's time to prophesy peace and joy hallelujah praise god praise god praise god hallelujah praise god the power of god is here hallelujah the mercy of god is here thank you jesus hallelujah I feel too worried about the things that I see. I have my yeah, I got my peace. I have my joy. Got my joy. Even when people, Even when people say to me that I'm what strong, is going on, I got my peace. I got my peace. I have my joy. Got my joy. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I have my peace. I have my peace. I got my joy. I will wait on the Lord. He will never, never let me down. Praise the Lord. I got my peace. I have my joy. My life, my life. My life, my life depends on you. Depends on you. Tomorrow lies in your hands. Raise your Lord, my hands is correct. That to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. About the things that I see, I oh, I got my peace. I, 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 I got 
not my God. Even when people, Even when people say to me, that boy, what is going on? I, hey, hey, I got my peace with the I got my job. My trust is in the Lord. My trust is in Yahweh. I have got my peace. My life, Lord, depends on you. Tomorrow, light in your hands. I raise, I raise, oh Lord God, I raise my hands, Yahweh. Adonai that is in me, John. My life, oh yes, Lord, depends on you. Depends on you, oh Lord. Tomorrow, I see your hands. I raise, I raise, Lord. Raise my hands, Yahweh. To you, Adonai that is in me, John. My life, my life, my life, Lord, depends on you. I'm about to say, by tomorrow, night in your hands. Just say, I raise, I raise, oh Lord God, I raise my hands, Yahweh. To you, I don't die, Papa, give me joy. Washing the Lord with me, I got my peace. Oh, even when people say to me, He's a faithful God, no matter what, I remain joyful. I got my job. I will wait on the Lord. I will never move away. I wait on this God. I got my peace. I got my joy. Yeah. My trust is in the Lord. My trust is in the Lord. I got my peace. I got my peace. Yeah. My life, Lord, depends on you. Depends on you. Tomorrow, I see your hands. Today, I believe that the word God is going to bring our way is going to help us 
in Jesus' name, settling a, quite a number of questions and a lot of disturbance in the heart. I just pray that as much as we human beings know how to put the words of people in our heart, gossips and all those kind of side talks, the way we know how to put it in our heart, then we should learn to also create enough room for God. Create enough room in your heart for God. As you create that room for God, I believe that the word of God will grow mightily and it will prosper in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Forget about any other thing, any other weight. Let's just shut down every other thing out of our minds and focus on God. It's time, today is more of prayer and praying the word of God. Today is more of prayer and praying the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Let's start with Psalms 34. We've studied it before now. We want to use it. We want to apply it. We are entering into spiritual lab laboratory. Spiritual laboratory. Spiritual laboratory. So Psalm 34 verse 7. Psalm 34 verse 7. We want to use it to prophesy. The angels of the Lord encamp encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. O Lord, let us start to pray. O Lord, release your angels to encamp round about us. Join me and say, O Lord, release your angels to encamp round about us. Encamp around us. O Lord, as we go towards the end of the year, O oh Lord, as we go towards the end of the year, Daddy, release your angels to encamp round about us. The angels of the Lord, they are here. They are here, they are here, they are here. For you, they are here. For me, they are here. And they are encamping around those who, want, who fear God. The angels of the Lord, they are here, encamping around myself my, and you and our loved ones just because of the fact that you have the fear of God. O oh Lord, release your innumerable angels today. Release your innumerable angels. Join me as we decree, declare. Join me as we declare, decree. Your innumerable angels, O oh Lord, release. O oh Lord, release. Your innumerable angels, Lord, release. Release, O Lord, your innumerable angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Your innumerable angels that are capable of delivering delivering God's purpose and God's will. I command the angels assigned to you and your entire household to be released to be released by fire by force. Connie, oh, the angels assigned to you and Isaac to be released. Julia, A, you, your family, every angel that have been assigned to be released. Kedia to S, the angels that have been assigned by God to be released. For you, for your household to be released in the name of Jesus Christ, to be released, to be released by fire by force. Aisha Williams, the angels of God that have been assigned to your life, to your family, to be released instantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Etel S. Etel Sloma, the angels of God assigned to your life to be released. Adake, Adake, the angels of God assigned to your life and your family to be released by fire by force. To be released by fire by force in the name of Jesus Christ. To be released. Kuakere, Kuakere, oh, the angels of God that have been assigned to your life. The angels of God assigned to your life and your family in Jesus' name to be released. To be released by fire by force to be released. In the name of Jesus Christ, the angel of God assigned to your life to be released. Julia A. Maragadalagaba, the angels of God assigned to your life to be released. To be released by fire by force to be released. In the name of Jesus Christ, Maragayadalagaba, Mashantali Brosikaba, Mirila L., the angels of the Lord. Mirila L., the angels of the Lord that have been assigned to your life to be released. To be released by fire by force to be released somebody join me in jesus name please this is important this is important 
when the scripture says that in Jesus' name you shall not die but live to declare the glory of God, that means the angels are active and they are active to deliver you, they are active to deliver me, they are active to deliver us. Old taste and see, verse 8 is saying of Psalms chapter 34. Old taste and see, Psalms chapter 34. Old taste and see that the Lord is good. Old taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Today, if only you can taste, if only you can try out the prayer we are praying, you will be a living testimony of the fact that God will never and can never fail. You will be a living testimony that God will never and can never fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is what? That the Lord is good. In Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, release your angels. Daddy, release your innumerable angels. Lord, release your angels. Daddy, release your innumerable angels. Ragaba de balikatozi. Oh, ragaba baba shandalaba e balikateli. Lord, release. Oh, Lord, release. Daddy, release your angels. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, release your angels powerfully. Release your angels in the name of Jesus Christ. Your angels, O oh Lord, that ensured that the fire was not able to kindle on your servants, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Your angels that you released or you sent that ensured that the lions could not harm Daniel. Lord, release those angels. O oh Lord, release those angels on assignment. Those angels on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ that would ensure that the promises of God in our life will take place this year. Somebody under the sound of my voice, the angels released by God over your life, over the life of your loved one in Jesus' name to ensure that there is no carryover, to ensure that there's no carryover, to ensure that there's no carryover in the name of Jesus Christ. The angels of the Lord release to ensure that there's no carryover in your life. To ensure that there's no carryover. Ma gadala gaya dala gaba. Ma sha gaba de prale mantali brosika. That there's no carryover in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The angels of the Lord are the are the ones to to effect. Okay, the angels of the Lord are the ones to effect what to effect. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. Somebody, second Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. The angels of the Lord are to effect that in your life I and mean in my life. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse from verse what? From verse 17. The angels of the Lord are meant to effect this. For anyone that has known any form of shame, anyone that has known any form of pain or shame. The angels of the Lord, by the command and by the word of God, are meant to effect these changes in your life, in my life, in our life. It's meant to effect all these changes in your life, in my life, in our life. Are you with me, man of God? Okay, it says, for our light affliction. Who is that person that has gone through any form of affliction of any kind, of any type? That light affliction, we are being assured by God that the light affliction which is but for a moment, which is but for a moment, and that moment in your life is over. That moment in my life is over, is but for a moment. But that moment in your life is over in the name of Jesus Christ. That moment is over. That moment will surely, surely be over. One thing is sure. There's going to be reward for you putting your trust in God. And it is called multiplication, divine multiplication. There's going to be powerful divine multiplication in the life of somebody that has suffered for the sake of God. That has suffered for the sake of the gospel. That has suffered for the sake of God's will to be established. Whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not. Whether the enemy likes it or not. This is the original intention and plan of God. It says, it worked for us a far more. The same affliction, the same persecution, the same pain, the same form of shame for the name, for the sake of gospel. The same pain, the same pain, the same shame. The same pain, the same shame. Worked for you and worked for me. Worked for you, worked for me, worked for us. The same pain, the same shame. Work it for you, work it for me, work it for us, a far more exceeding, far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. 
your tears will not go unrewarded. Your tears will not go unrewarded. In the name of Jesus Christ. And it is heaven that will reward you. It is far more. What is coming is far more, more than what you have lost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, we are not talking to everybody. But we are talking to people that God intended before the earth was founded. Before the earth was laid. The Lord already chart a path for you and for me. The people that he referred to as the light of the world. Okay, the light of the world. Those are the people God is leading me to speak to. The light of the world. Not everyone. But everyone that is, that is, John chapter 9 verse 5 enable. John chapter 5 verse 9. Anyone that is John chapter 5 verse 9 enabled. Anyone, anyone. Anyone that is John chapter 5 verse 9 enabled. Paralagada yagaba. Nibrake balakotosi. Ijantere balikatali mosikaba. Anyone and everyone that is what? That is enabled. That is what John chapter 9 verse 5 enabled and Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 enabled. The light of the world. This is what we are praying in Jesus name. If you are the light of the world, then the Lord himself, not man. Okay? The Lord himself, not man. Will what? The Lord himself will what? Will reward your suffering. Will reward your pain. Will reward your shame. Will reward your pain, your shame. Will reward anything and everything that you are that you have undergone for sake of the gospel. Or for sake of the will of God to be done. Now, when God is rewarding you, percentage does not matter. Somebody please help me to type the word. When God is saying percentage does not matter. That's all you need to type. Percentage does not matter. When God is ready to reward you, percentage does not matter. The percentage of what you have, the percentage of what you have or what you need does not matter to God because he can create. He can create. Percentage does not matter. When God wants to bless you, percentage does not matter. Who is that person under the sound of my voice? I say when God wants to bless you, percentage does not matter. Percentage does not matter. Whether you have enough percentage or not, whether 0%, whether 30%, whether 60%, it does not matter to God. It does not matter. He's the creator. He can create for your sake. Hallelujah. He can create for your sake. Hallelujah. He can create for your sake. Somebody join me as we start to pray. Psalm 71 verse 7. Somebody, Psalm 71 verse 7. The next prayer mandate, Psalm 71 verse 7. Psalm 71 verse 7. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Psalm 71 verse 7. Psalm 71 verse 7. Wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, Psalm 71 verse 7. 71, Psalm 71 verse 7. 71, Psalm 71 verse 7. Psalm 71 verse 7. If you're there with me, God bless you. Psalm 71 verse 7. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. I am as a wonder. I am as a wonder unto many. This is what God wants to do through you and me. He wants to use you and me in such a way that people will marvel. In such a way that people will be left speechless. In such that, in such a way that people will be wondering what is going on. People will be wondering what is going on. People will be wondering what is going on. Hallelujah. Paragaya dalagaba. Zake telibo zali katali. Reke telibrantali mosi. Ishali katali. Uragaba baba. Lato sukayaba. Libare ke telimosi kabantali. Rabagadalios. O ragaba ye bali katelimosi, reke libratali, o ragaba ye katalimosi kaba, li bali katelimosi kaba teli, o ragaba baba, man bali kateli, ba reke libratoso, ba reke telibrosi kaba, roba kalados, re katalimosi kaba teli, re kalibratalimo, o ragaba baba, I am as a wonder, somebody prophesy, there will not be a carryover in my life. By the time God is true, everybody will be wondering how it happened. Everybody will be wondering how it happened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma gadalagaba. Ma katosi kaba. Mo krali katoso. Urukaba deli. Ibare katali. I must say wonder unto many. 
whatever God is going to do in your life will astonish the world, will astonish people, will astonish the world, will astonish people. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, use me as a reference point for other people's prayer point. That's the next prayer mandate. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to look at other scriptures very soon. Oh Lord, use me as a reference point. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Manga da la gaba, masha keteli, bare katoso, rogaba la gada labo, ibra le keteli, rabban talimosikaba, rabba baba baba likatali, roka baba baba likotosikaba, mandali keteli, zale brakeli batalio, roka baba baba shantalio, mandali katali osikaba, rabba baba malikatali, o ragaba ekali ekayandalios, ibare katosikaba. Ibare katozi kaba manteli mosi kaya ba katali in the name of Jesus Christ mara gada la gaba eshali kataliosa eshali kataliosa eshali kataliosa ora gaba manteli mosi kaba e balike teliosi kaba the Lord use you as a wonder as a sign as a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ I say God use you as a sign as a wonder. As a sign, as a wonder, God use you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God use you as a sign and as a wonder. May God use you as a sign, as a wonder in the land of the living. As a sign, as a wonder, may God use you. By fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. No carryover in your life. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. No carryover in your life by fire, by force. No carry over in your life. Ma gaya dali bros. O zake teli bantali. Raka dali bantali mosikaba. O re bali kate delius. O re keteli dalio zikayaba. Man tele bakato zokaya bantali. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you sure that your confidence is in the word of God, man of God? Are you sure that your confidence is in the word of God, woman of God? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure that your confidence is in the Lord? Are you sure that your confidence is in the Lord? Hallelujah. Then if your confidence is in the Lord, if your confidence is in the Lord, then in the name of Jesus Christ, I see God, I see God use you as a reference point for other people's prayer point. As a reference point, as a reference point. I see God, I see God. I see God use you as what? A reference point for other people's prayer point. By fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see God use you as a reference point for other people's prayer point. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Oh yes, so shall it be. Oh yes, so shall it be. I see God use you in Jesus' name. I see God use you as what? A reference point for other people's prayer point by fire, by force. Oh yes, by fire, by force. I see God using you by fire, by force. By force, by fire. By fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. First Corinthians, first Corinthians, we're going to first Corinthians right now. Marikalaba, Reshan Talibosikaba, Libakatali, Ibareke Telimosik, Ibraleke Telio Zikayaba, Ora Gaban Dalikaye Batalio, Ora Gaban Dalikaye Batalio, Mosake de Likatalio Zikayaba, Ora Gababa, Reba, First Corinthians chapter two. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse what? 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 12, verse 13, verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, 13, 14. We are entering to another dimension and I pray that the Lord will open our understanding. Everyone that God is using, I celebrate all the ministries that God is using. Everyone that is putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer. Everyone that is focused on God. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 2. First Corinthians chapter 2. First Corinthians chapter 2. Ligaya dalagaba. Rosan talimo uzake telie. O ragaba ladosikaba. O talie kaladrele mantalio. Reke telimosi. Jale kadalio zikaba o rabba baba ba mantele kalibrantalio mantele kalibrantalio mando sikaba o raga baba likateli o raga ba lebrako zikaba en delikateli rabba baba ibale katalio i rabba baba mosaketeli 
Rabababa Shantalio Sikaba, O Rabababa Mali Bros, Mali Kon Zikaba, in the name of Jesus Christ, Mandra Lagadaya Gaba, Mandra Lagadaya Gaba, O Ragaba Libra Keteli, O Ragaba Libra Keteli, O Rabagatosi, Jean de Licata, Rika Baba Matosi, Calibra O Saliba Catali, Roban de Kayadali Mosi, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire power Holy Ghost power fire Holy Ghost power fire Holy Ghost fire power it says and I quote first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 it says and I quote it says now we have received not the spirit of the world that is w o r l d we have not received the spirit of the world we have not received the spirit of the world hallelujah we have not received but we have received the spirit of the word w o r d so it depends which spirit are you using which spirit are you using because for you to experience powerful divine multiplication you have to be connected to the right spirit divine multiplication can only come through those who are connected to word not w o r l d it's very clear from verse 12 you see first corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God. That spirit which of God is the spirit that is embedded in W-O-R-D. So define who you want to be. One that have received the spirit of W-O-R-L-D or one that has received the spirit of W-O-R-D, the spirit of God. Somebody, if you want me to explain a little bit further, somebody type Apostle Fire. I will tell you very quickly, but I will not expand much. I will tell you very quickly, but I will not expand much. There are two types of spirit ruling this world. You can see it in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, chapter 2, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Two kinds of spirit. The spirit that I am talking about that will bring about multiplication, powerful divine multiplication, is not connected to the spirit of the world. I can give you an example of the spirit of the world and leave it at that. And if you want me to give an example of the spirit of the word, the spirit of the word, I can also do that very quickly. If you type Apostle Fire, we can quickly explore. If you type Apostle Fire, we can quickly explore these two spirits. These two spirits are spirits that you are aware of. It's not as if it is above syllables. This is the spirit that you know already. But you know you need to be conscious of them and conscious of their workings once you are conscious of these spirits then you can apply them properly you can apply them properly and you can also um, you can also make the best of those spirits hallelujah okay so that i've seen apostle fire i'm waiting for one i'm waiting for one more i've seen two i've seen two i'm waiting for one more Okay, I've seen Apostle Fire and um, Engineer Obo Obasinemike, God bless you. I've seen, again, Apostle Fire from Mirilla L. We wait for one more Apostle Fire and then we can, we can, we can make progress. Yes, and we can make progress. Yes, we can make progress. One more Apostle Fire and we can make progress. Hallelujah. So there are two types of spirit and we need to be conscious which spirit we are submitting to. I see another third apostle fire. Now, the spirit of the world, you can see in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, we talked about that we have not received the spirit of the world. What is the spirit of the world? That is the spirit predominant in what? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. That's the spirit. Summarized in there is there are much more, but summarized into Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, Matthew 16, verse 8. Matthew 16, verse 8. Now, if you look at Matthew 16, verse 8, when Jesus was talking about it, he made it in, it's very simplified. He said, the gates of hell. But it's not well explicit. He just said gates of hell. If you look at Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10, it wasn't fully expanded. I say another apostle fire from Connie. Oh, God bless you, man of God. Okay. Now, if you check, now I've said, you see this spirit of the world w-o-r-l-d you will see it well expansiated in ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. the first time jesus talked about it in matthew chapter 16 verse 18 he just referred to it as being 
no matthew 16 verse 18 not 8 matthew 16 verse 18 please help us type again god bless you man of god thank you engineer Uber okay please type again matthew 16 verse 18 if i said 8 forgive me matthew 16 verse 18 18 1 8 now god called it jesus called it the gates of hell that's how he called it now if you now come to ephesians chapter 3 verse 10 Ephesians 3 verse 10. There he said that to the intent that now unto he called, just called, just summarized two. Now he moved further. He said to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers might be known by the church. You know, because the church carries a different spirit. That's why the church will show them. The church will show the spirit of the world. So that's why he said to the intent that now the, to unto the principalities and powers might be known by the church. The church will educate. The church will display. The church will demonstrate. Because they have a different spirit. And I'm coming to the spirit in the church very soon. So, but now in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10, that spirit is not well expanded, the spirit of the world. But when you now come to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, oh my God. Then he made it very clear that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. Then he said we are wrestling against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness. So there they expanded very well. Thank you for the typing engineer. Thank you, Marilla, for typing Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. So that's the spirit of the world. So the complete explanation you get in Ephesians 6 verse 12. He mentioned all the spirits thereof. Because all those spirits, maybe if you permit me to go further, for those who understand a little bit of spiritology, if you understand a little bit of spiritology. Now, in those things expanded in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, there are three branches. There are three branches hanging out on those things. If you write Ephesians 6, verse 12, there are three branches hanging out, minimum. Three branches. The first one is every power in the air every power in the air aviational power then you have the the second one every power territorially every power on land also mentioned in that efficiency verse 12 territorial powers then the third hanging out from that efficiency verse 12 is aquatic Every aquatic, every power that has to do with water is also mentioned. So all is captured as principality, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. But in an, in a in more deeper class, we could now tell you which one is, is principal, which one is the power of the air, in which one is the power in the air. Then we will tell you which one is power in territorially. Then we tell you which one is the aquatic one. And we all know these things, even growing up in our African um, setup and things like that. We, we play, sometimes we play with some of these things. We know these things. That's why you mention things like Obanje spirit. You mention something like Mami Water spirit and all those kind of things. Those are the spirit of the world. It's very simple. Every, everyone has an idea. But those ones are local way of describing them. Every locality have a local way of describing this thing. But scripture captured them spiritually exactly in their real habitat. Their real nature, who they are. That's why Ephesians 6.12 captured that. Leaving the spirit of the world now, which is W-O-R-L-D. Let's come to the spirit of God or the spirit of the world. Now the spirit of the world is clearly expanded. There are other parts you will find it. But clearly simplified for the church to comprehend in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2 and verse 9. You have to look at verse 9 to see it, but it's there in verse 9. Verse 2, it spells it out in verse 2 vividly. But in verse 9, it's given to us in a coded form. But that's the spirit of God or the spirit of the word. This spirit is the spirit that will propel Psalm chapter 34 verse 7. This spirit are the spirit that will propel the angels to, 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 to protect or to defend you and to, or to deliver you and deliver me or protect me. It's that spirit that will propel them. Now if you look at Isaiah chapter 2 verse 11, you see there the spirit of the Lord or the spirit of God or the spirit of the word okay shall rest upon you so that's why this spirit coming upon the church is why the church can show ephesians chapter 3 verse 10 that's why the church can show 
principalities and powers by saying, in Jesus' name, I bind you. In Jesus' name, this is what will be. If not for this spirit, if you don't have this spirit, you cannot try it. That's why Jesus said in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, guys, go and wait in the upper room until you are endued with the spirit or the power from on high or else you cannot face the spirit of the world. The spirit of the world is still having all the energy that they are meant to have. Only that the church has a more energy to subdue in Jesus' name, the power of the world. So it says, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. What will now manifest is one, spirit of wisdom. Two, spirit of understanding. Three, spirit of the spirit of counsel. Four, the spirit of might. Five, the spirit of knowledge. Six, the spirit of the fear of God. And seven is the spirit of protection, the spirit of protect, divine protection. He said, they shall, not, they shall not hurt no more. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. So the spirit of protection, the spirit that preserves. That's why you see in Psalm 16, David said, preserve me, O Lord, for indeed I put my trust. The spirit that preserves or protects. That is it. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the of, of the Lord as the waters covers the sea. Praise God. So that's the spirit we are talking about, the two spirits. Let's go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Let me read again. So you will just see that one line. Look at how many things we went to check to understand just that one line. Now we, we have received not, okay, you cannot use the power, the spirit of the world against the world. That's what Jesus said in Luke chapter 11. That a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. When they told him that he was casting out Belzebub with the power of Belzebub. He said, what are you people saying? What are you saying? How can you say I'm using the power or the spirit of the world to cast out the spirit of the world? Can a kingdom be divided against itself? Because any kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Okay? He says, well, if... By the spirit of Bezibok, I've done this thing, no problem. But if it is not by the spirit of Bezibok, then the kingdom of God is against you. Meaning God will judge you. It was a form of saying God judge you people because what you say I am doing is not what I'm doing. Okay. So now it's saying, but the, it says, now we have we ha now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that we are freely giving to us of God, so that we can know what we are freely giving. Today, we are talking about what we are freely giving, the power of divine multiplication. It is what we are freely giving. One of the things that we are freely giving, the power of divine multiplication. But it's not going to work for any and every kind of person. It will only work for those who are super saturated, people who are saturated with what? With the Spirit of God. People that are being launched out by God, people that are launched out by God as what his soldiers as his army okay people that have been launched out launched out or launched out by God to do that which he has commanded that they do hallelujah okay so these are the people that will enjoy powerful divine multiplication I see that somebody under the sound of my voice the Lord open your heart and mind open your spirit to that which we have been freely given. Oh Lord, help me to be part of those. Help me to be part of those that will enjoy, part of those that would manifest, part of those that will manifest or enjoy what? That will enjoy the divine, the divine, the divine blessings of God. Okay, somebody prophesy. Somebody pray with me. Somebody prophesy, pray with me, pray with me, prophesy. Somebody prophesy, somebody prophesy. Reka ba 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 ba. Zake bali katalios. Ozabra leke te mosikaba. 
on dali e kayan dali pronzi jagaba baba ba ragaba de kalibantali ragaba baba ba ragaba de kalibantali o pare kato sokaba libra le keteli en kayadalius roka bantali mosi je gale bantali mosi kaba holy ghost fire power holy ghost power fire holy ghost fire power holy ghost power fire oh lord take preeminence take control oh lord take preeminence take control in the name of Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, take over, take control. Look at what the Spirit of God is saying in verse 13 of the same First Corinthians chapter 2. First Corinthians chapter 2. Look at what the Spirit of God is saying in verse what? In verse 13. Hallelujah. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Today, when I say no percentage is that is important, um, no percentage does not matter when it has to do with God. You will see what I mean very soon because we will start to compare spiritual things with spiritual things. We are going to be comparing by the message of God spiritual things with what spiritual things. We're going to be comparing spiritual things with spiritual things in the name of Jesus Christ. Rashan Talibra Ebali Katoso. Rashan Talibra Ebali Katoso. O Zaleke Telimosikaba. Magade Bali Kateli. O Zakatalio. O Rabababa. Reke Bali Katali. Ibrandeli Bantali Moso. O Zakabato Sikayaba. Endeke Librantali. O Rakabato Sikabateli. I Zaleketeli Barandalius. E Saleketeli Barandalius. O Ragabababa Malikatoso. Rokabadali Kayandali. Marikaye La Tosika. O Ragaba Epalemosi. I Trele Mancatalio Saketali. En Trele Bantalimoso Kaba Otali Kateli. I Bareke Balantoso. O Ragababa Manga Dalagaba. Lukaye Bakatali. O Rababa Toso. O Rageba Likatali. I Branteli Ebraladosi. Somebody, we are comparing spiritual things with spiritual things, and in Jesus' name, the Lord open doors for you. The Lord make a way for you. The Lord open doors for you. The Lord make a way for you. The Lord open doors for you. Man of God, woman of God, the Lord open doors for you. The Lord make a way for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord open doors for you. The Lord make a way for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Ragababa Zake Telimosikaba, O Rekabatalio, Manteli Bantali, O Zagaba Ekali Bantali Mosi, Ibra Leke Telikatali Mosi, O Ragababa, Ebale Kalianda, O Za Ebra Lekatali Moso Kayaba, Intariozi, Jeke de Barien, O Zakabalio Zaka, Rebara Katali Mosi Kabateli, Indeli Katali Mosi Kaba, O Rege Beliandalia, O Rege Beliandalia. This is what verse 14 is saying. It says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit. Spirit. The natural man receiveth not the spirit, the things of the Spirit of God, the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Somebody join me and say, Oh Lord, help me to spiritually discern. Oh Lord, help me. Ancient of this, help me. Alpha and Omega, help me to spiritually discern in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, help me. Daddy, help me to spiritually discern. Help me to spiritually discern. Somebody join me in Jesus' name. <coughs> help me to spiritually discern by fire by force. Help me to spiritually discern. Help me to spiritually discern how to enter into divine multiplication. How to benefit. How to enter. How to benefit. How to enter divine multiplication divine multiplication help me to enter O oh lord help me to enter help me to understand help me to enter help me to understand divine multiplication in the name of jesus christ help me to enter help me to understand divine multiplication in the name of jesus christ mashaka balagadaya gaba mashaka balagadaya gaba o rekele bantalimosi Ni brakele bakatalio, o ragaba baba latonzo kayaba, e brale ke telika yadalios, 
O zaka do sake pali andali. O zake bali katonzi kaba. O raba baba mankeli brantali. Itali mosuka. Ibareke li mantali bantali. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me. Somebody join me. Proclaim in Jesus name. Ma la gada la gaba. O zaka ba mantali mosi kaba. O sake kali bantali mosi. O sake bali katali mosi kaba. O reke indrale mashantali. O ragaba ba joka ya batali. Mantosika e brakete. Mantali brosika, e braketeli. Mantali mosika, e braketeli. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Holy Ghost take control, take over. Holy Ghost take over, take control. Ibaragadalagaba. Mantosuka Ibraleketeli. Brantosukaba Ibraleketeli. Regabandali Katosukaba. O Reke Libantali. Rebali Katosuka. O Ragababa Baba. Ragabandeli Kaye. Rabababa Baba. Ragaba entre leketeli, mashantali moso, kora lekatonzi. In the name of Jesus Christ, something is happening in the spirit. Something is happening in the spirit, man of God. Something is happening in the spirit. Something is happening in the spirit, woman of God. Ikatoso kalibra e mantali, kibatoso kalibra e bantali, ila de lekatali. Call upon God. Call upon Him. In Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I see the hand of God moving. I see the power of God moving. I see the hand of God moving, the power of God moving. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, as we pray this last prayer, they will enter into another session, still within this first session, but the practical side, like we are saying. One more prayer we need to pray. We've seen that in first. Corinthians chapter 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 12. Number 1, we have received the spirit of God, the spirit of the word, W-O-R-R-D, and not the spirit of the world, which is W-O-R-L-D. We have known that, praise God. And then that spirit of God that we have received, or the spirit of the word, makes us to know what we have access to freely, what we have been freely given by God. One of which is what we are talking about, divine multiplication, powerful divine multiplication. Now, the people that are empowered to speak about this spirit, is they are not speaking from human wisdom, but speaking from the spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is the one guiding us to speak to God's people. It's guiding people to type. It's guiding people to minister. It's the Spirit of God. You see that in verse 13. The Holy Spirit is the one that is teaching us and making us to compare spiritual things with spiritual, not carnal with spiritual, not spiritual with carnal, none of those mix. We are not comparing carnal with spiritual or spiritual with carnal. We are comparing spiritual with spiritual. The Word of God with what God has freely made available for us to catalambano okay then coming to verse 14 verse 14 is telling us that not everybody can comprehend what we are saying this kind of teaching is not for everybody because if somebody that is in the flesh carnality and wants to catalambano the spirit is foolishness to them and you will see the example we are going to look at very soon if they had approached the spirit from the carnal point of view they wouldn't have obeyed it would have they wouldn't have seen divine multiplication it would have been foolishness but because they decided to use their spirit to judge the things of the spirit because they did not use the human calculation human mind they say if it is the word of god if god has spoken then i would do it that's why they were able to get results but a carnal mind is foolishness to that carnal person before i start on the examples god wants us to look at can we pray one last prayer and say lord give me the spirit of obedience Oh Lord, help me to obey. Let me not judge what you are com um, compelling me or speaking to me to do. May I not judge from the carnal point of view. May I not view the word coming or the scripture coming. May I not see it with my natural understanding or natural eye. May I perceive what is coming from the spirit. That's all you need to do. Just perceive it from the spirit and let the spirit of God take preeminence, take control. Let the spirit of God take preeminence, take control. Let the spirit of God take preeminence, take control. Manga da lagaba. Sakele baradosi. San talimoso kabatali. Ebra leke teli katalimosi. Ebra leke teli katalimosi.
O ragaba e bantalimoso kayabateli. E bantalimoso kayabateli. O ngagagagaga. O ngaragada lagaba. Masale bari katalimosi kaba. O ngagagagaga. Masale bari katalimosi kaba. E telima e bali kateli. Rabra konzo kaye bali katalimosi. Rabra e kalibrantoso kaba katalimosi ka. E bagaya dalabos. O ndalagabantalimosi. O ragaba mateli brantali. Mateli brantali e makayondi. I baroko so katali. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Grant us the spirit of obedience. The power to obey you. The power to obey you in the name of Jesus Christ. The power to obey you. The power to obey you in the name of Jesus Christ. Second Kings. Somebody come with me. Second Kings chapter 4. Second Kings chapter 4. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter 4. Praise God. Now, we're looking at practical example, and you will see how the people were able to use spiritual to judge spiritual, not carnal to judge spiritual. Praise God, praise God. Now, there cried a woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, had, thy servant my husband, is dead. Hallelujah. Thou knowest that he, thy servant, did fear the Lord. Thou knowest that that my thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors is come to take unto him un, unto him my two sons to be born men. And we explain this born men in one of our broadcasts. Okay, and Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaiden had not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Save a pot of oil. She has not, I have nothing else save a pot of oil. Save a pot of oil. Now, verse 3. Then he said, Go. Verse 3. Then he said, Go. Borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, even empty vessels, even empty vessels, borrow not a few, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. Verse 4 And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy son, and shall pour, and shall pour, and shall pour, and shall pour out, and shall pour out specific instructions for you to enjoy the divine multiplication specific instructions and thou shall pour out and thou shall pour out into all those vessels those empty vessels that shall pour out that shall pour out onto those vessels into all those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is full thou shalt set aside thou shalt set aside thou shalt set aside that which is full so she went from him so she went from him and shut the door upon her and shut the door upon her and upon her sons and upon her sons when who brought the vessels to her who brought the empty vessels in case for emphasis, who brought the empty vessels to her and she poured out in obedience. She poured out. She did not reason it. She just poured. She just poured. She just poured. She just poured. She just poured out. She just poured out. And verse 6, it says, and it came to pass, and it came to pass. When the vessel was full, when the vessel was full from where? When the vessel was full from where? When the vessel was full from where that she was, that she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. She said to her son, bring me yet a vessel. <coughs> when the vessel was full, she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. The, then the boy replied, and he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. There is not a vessel more. There is not a vessel more. Every vessel she borrowed had been filled up. There is no vessel more. And the oil stayed. And the oil stayed. And the oil stayed. And the oil stayed. Verse 7. Then she came and told the man of God. Thank God for those who come back to give testimony honestly and truthfully. And thank God for men of God with self-control also. Then she came back and told the man of God. She came back and told the man of God. And he said, go. Go. Sell. This is another instruction. This is different from 
Borrow empty vessels. Shut the door against yourself. Pour out. Those were the first instruction. Now new instruction. Go. Sell the oil. There is a spirit that must go with you if you are, if you are selling goods. Is it that you use the spirit of God or the spirit of the world? Or you are using the spirit of the world? You cannot sell outside this spirit. You can see here Elisha released the spirit to follow her. The spirit of the word. The spirit of the Lord. When you are in business, you must be influenced by one spirit. If you are working, if you are a career person, there must be a spirit backing you. Elisha released the spirit of God to go with her. If she did not come to Elisha, she will not have this spirit and she will not make any gain from all those. That's why some people sell things and they cannot get capital back. They cannot tell how the money disappeared because you, did, you went there without a spirit. You went to do a spiritual thing carnally. You have forgotten that this world is spiritual. This world belongs to a spirit. Psalms chapter 24. The earth is the Lord's. The Lord is talking about his spirit. How can something owned by the spirit, you want to operate it with the carnal strength? The earth is spiritually driven. It's owned by a spirit. The earth is the Lord's. The fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. If you must operate in the world, you need the spirit to operate in the world. Either you use the spirit of the world, which is a lesser spirit, or you use the spirit of the owner of the world, which is the spirit of God. The spirit of the owner of the world has been released unto her. Go! Sell the oil and pay thy debt. Now, paying that debt is not by power nor by might. That paying that debt is by the spirit of God. Pay your debt. is prophetic. Prophetic order. Sell is a prophetic order. Sell. Every one of you under the sound of my voice, as you leave this mountain in Jesus' name, you will prosper. It's a prophetic order. You will sell. You will use your salaries for things that are good. You will account for all the substance God is giving to you in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, go, sell, sell the oil and pay thy debt and leave. She was given permission to leave out of it. She was given permission to leave, to, to, to be blessed by it. And leave Maragadayagaba. And leave thou and thy children of the rest. He blessed the money for her. I bless all the money that God has brought your way this year. I bless the work that you're doing in Jesus' name. I command the powerful divine multiplication into all that God has given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now look at this woman came to Elisha. Just like you have come to God. Verse 1 and verse 2. She had options of where to go to. She ran to God. This is why because she recognizes that she's carrying the spirit of God and she needs to come to God and God needs to fix things for her. Every one of you that have come to the Lord, even as you're putting your prayer mandate, even as you're putting your prayer prayer, even as you're supporting the work of God, even as you're allowing God to use you, as you're putting in prayer, putting in prayer, prayer, as you are allowing God to minister his grace and power through you. This is what the Sovereign Lord is saying. Since you have yielded unto God, since you have permitted the mercy, the glory, the power of God, as you have come to the Lord, hallelujah, no matter even if you have debts no matter even if you have bad debts no matter if you have things that needs to be paid for coming to the lord is the wisest things you can do or i can do remember to be putting in prayer mandate remember to put in prayer mandate put in your prayer mandate put in your prayer prayer make sure you're talking to the lord even as the spirit of god is leading you and i'm thanking god for every ministry that god is using to type to say the things that god is commanding us to say in the name of jesus christ Verse 3, the Lord gave a word. What word has God given you this year? How obedient have you been in order to see the divine, powerful divine multiplication? For this woman, he said, borrow vessels, not a few. What did God tell you? Did God tell you to apply? To, did God tell you to send an email? Did God tell you to make an invitation? What did God ask you to do in the name of Jesus Christ? I command the grace for you to obey God. It does not matter how many people that have done it that did not succeed. That is not what matters. 
in this case, when God wants to bless you, don't look at what other people are going through. Look at the instruction God has given to you and ask for the grace to obey. Somebody want to enjoy powerful divine multiplication. I mean somebody that has suffered. Somebody that has experienced, you know, affliction for a while. He said the, the light affliction worketh is but for a moment. Those who have experienced that affliction that is but for a moment. When you come to God, know that God wants to deal with you one on one. He doesn't want to know what you anybody around you is doing he told her borrow vessels and very specifically he told her empty vessels may god help us to take note of divine instructions divine command borrow vessels empty vessels because god knew what he wanted to do somebody would have said why should i uh, borrow empty vessel why would that what would that amount to but the lord was specific through the man of god in the name of jesus Christ. empty vessels everyone under the sound of my voice in jesus name that the lord is granting the grace to borrow today may you remember to make sure that you are borrowing empty vessels may you borrow in jesus name if god has commanded you to do so borrow understanding borrow insight borrow how somebody is God is using somebody to do a particular thing. Borrow, go to school, go to uh, change your level, educate yourself in that field, borrow the knowledge needed. Don't just enter there with just, you know, any kind of mind. Borrow as much as you need to borrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Borrow. So yeah, when they say borrow empty vessel is proverbial. When it says borrow empty vessels, it's proverbial. When it says borrow empty vessels, it's proverbial. So make sure you borrow what you need. If you're, if there's, um, if Bible says wisdom cried in the street, that field you want to enter into, definitely there are some people God have put in that field. Borrow, leave. Either you borrow how their business crashed, borrow that knowledge, or borrow the way that they are talking to their customers that is making their customers not want to return. There is something always to borrow out there. Borrow a leaf. Borrow a leaf. Borrow a leaf. And let the Spirit of the Lord, in Jesus' name, internalize the learning for you. Now, verse 4. The Spirit of the Lord says that she should enter, lock the door, and pour. Lock the door and pour. This can be very challenging for a lot of people. Lock the door and pour. Now, man of God, woman of God, do you know that when my God wants to bless you, percentage does not matter. The percentage of the oil in the pot did not matter. Some of us, they will say, God, this is all I, God, are you making mistakes? This is all I said I have. So what? Who says? Some people want to have millions before they start business. Do you know that that little pot, that little money, that little connection you have, even though you have one connection, do you know one connection can take you to the top? Why must you want to have 100 connections before you believe that it's time for me to break through? Just one person God will give to you. You should value that one person. You should treat that one person like you're treating physical God. A lot of us have missed the angels God sent to us to deliver us. Just because maybe you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you're, you choose to be, you choose to be, you know, maybe you choose to be, to be human more than spiritual. It can be a child. I'm giving a testimony on this mountain of a child that changed the life of a pastor. Now, when that pastor was asked to go to that place to preach, he started the church. Most of the time, his most faithful church member happened to be this child that was just about 7, 10 years old. Not up to 13 years to be precise. A boy. Some adults will come, but this boy had never failed. He will come into the service, he will sit down. And this man, God bless men of God that don't look at number. Because there are some men of God, the number they see is the way the anointing will carry them. If they see 5,000, they will preach, they will sweat, they will dramatize, they will do everything. If they come to church and they see three people, oh my God, the way they will preach, like there is no life in them. And they will just preach anyhow. They are angry because all the chairs are not full. Or because the basket, sorry to say, with all due respect, don't be angry with me. I'm saying what this asked me to say. Is it because the basket of offering will not be much? You might not have basket of offering for a year or two. But once when God will visit you, your basket must break. Your bank account go break. Look, don't try God. 
God is respecter of no persons. He's judging you and me. And the judgment of God is righteous. So I told you, so a man of God that another pastor invited, he said, how dare you? I preach to not less than 5,000 people. You invite me to your church that is just how many hundreds? Not even one to 1,000. Do you, do you know the kind of anointing I carry? Ah! Huh? Is that what is in the scripture? Anyway, this pastor will preach to this boy. And whoever is in the house. Most times it's only this boy in the church. He will preach and preach and preach. He will preach. He will lay hands on the boy and prophesy. One day, the boy came to him. He said, my pastor. That's what the boy said. My pastor. My father wants to sell the family land. And it is you. I want to buy that land. <laughs> the man was like, excuse me. He said, my father wants to sell the family land. And it's you. I want to buy the family land. Please, pastor, come with me. Lo and behold, this boy is the son of the chief head. The village chief. That's the son. When the son brought the pastor in, he said, Daddy, my daddy, the land you want to sell, the family land, I want my pastor to buy the land. The father said, oh, is this your pastor that you've been talking about? So the boy comes home. The boy fit, fills in the father, tells the father everything going on. Happily, they saw change on the boy. They belong to meet the pastor. He says, so this is the pastor. He said, yes, and I want him to buy the land. These are thousands of acres of land. Acres of land. So, the man said, I don't have money. They say, it's you we want to buy the land. Now, he, he, down, he now sold a percentage. He said, okay, how much do you want for the land? They mentioned. He sold not even up to one quarter. Not even one quarter of that land. He recovered much more. He recovered much more. Paid the family slightly more than what they even requested for. Because what they asked, asked for was just like a token. And that is how this pastor entered into real estate. He became a real estate owner. Selling land. He now relaxed himself. Every other land that was left was now what? There was no offering for a long time. But once when God visited him. Divine multiplication. Mind you, this divine multiplication cannot be manipulated. I just shown you 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 verse 13 verse 14. You need to pay attention. Just like we talked about John chapter 9 verse 5, Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. You must carry the light inside of you to qualify. You must carry because God will never support darkness. That's why scripture says sin is a reproach to a man. But righteousness up, is you know, uplift or exalted a nation. This is how God used just a child not up to no 13, not a teenager to change the life of the man of God. And the man of God into all kinds of charitable works, everything. And he shares his testimony. Man of God, woman of God, under the sound of my voice. When my God is ready to visit you, look at how God turned the life of this woman around. Percentage did not matter. Mind you, what God used was not up to probably 100. It was not up to 50, if possible. The quantity does not matter. Today, I'm going to give us an example of 0%. That is, at least the woman still had a few oil in the pot. Do you know, my God, even when there is no oil in the pot, the Lord can still make a way. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. I say, when there is zero, zero oil in the pot, yet can God make oil to come out from the pot? I hope you know that. There are examples in the scripture. I'm not saying something out of my head. There are examples. Zero percent is not a limitation to God. 0% is not a limitation for God to bring about powerful divine multiplication in your life. Once you are qualified, you are qualified. Once the Holy Spirit makes you qualified, you are qualified. Hallelujah. 
Once you are qualified, you are qualified. She was told, Paul, a lot of us, verse 4 of 2 Kings chapter 4, you know Matthew 7, 7, you know Matthew 7, 7, you know John 14, 14, you know all these beautiful words. Also try to remember 2 Kings 4, verse 4, 2 Kings 4, verse 4. And what is the unique thing about 2 Kings 4, verse 4? In 2 Kings 4, verse 4, the woman was told, pour out. The woman was not told, reason. Think about it. Evaluate it. Find out chances of it happening. A lot of us, when we get to the place of the miraculous, when we get to the place of visitation by God, instead of us to simply go on by faith, we now engage the carnal mind, forgetting what 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13 says. You see, that we are not using carnal against carnal. We are comparing spiritual with spiritual. Spiritual things with spiritual things. That should be your understanding. Pour the oil. That's what she was told. Not reason how the oil will multiply. Or reason how the oil will add up. Somebody, pour out your prayer mandate now. Stop reasoning how God will do it. Stop looking at the time for God. The month is almost finished. The year is almost finished. I know of somebody that God gave a prophecy and God will, God has assured me that that prophecy will come to pass. And funny enough, the only possible date for that prophecy to come to pass in the person's life is the 30th and the 31st of this particular, uh, of the last month of this year. Can you imagine? And I told the person, I said, does it matter whether the 30th or the 31st of the end of the month, as long as God does it, the last month of the year, the proposal given to that person is the last month of the year, the last two days, and that's the prophecy God gave, at least, I told the person, at least it is still happening in this year. That's all that matters. Somebody, your own, your own miracle will be the last minute. Now in sweet pass, because the devil did not see it coming. The last minute miracle. The last minute turnaround. The last minute that God will harvest everything. See, the devil did not see what was going to happen in 2 Kings chapter 4. Last minute powerful divine multiplication. The enemy did not see it coming. I see your testimony like that. I see the testimony God is bringing your way this year in that format. It is coming in a way that everyone will be forced to know that Yahweh reigns. That Yahweh is God and that Yahweh is good. It's coming in a way that no man can argue with what the sovereign Lord is about in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. She was told, pour out. She was told, pour out. How? What did the Lord tell you? Pour out. Pour out. Pour out into all those vessels. Don't think. Just pour. As God led you to give. As God led you to bless. As God led you to... Pray as God led you to fast. Just do it. Just do it. Something is telling me to pay my time. Just do it. Something is telling me to just give an offering. Just do it. Something is telling me to fast for so 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 day. Just do it. Just do it. Something is telling me to, to stay in the place of prayer for the next 30 minutes if only I can. Just try. Do it. Do it, man of God. Do it, woman of God. Do it and change the lives of your loved ones once and for all. Something told this woman, run to Elisha. The question is, what about if she did not go to Elisha? A lot of people would have said, ah, it's Elisha. I know he's a prophet, but it's my husband also not a prophet. But she did not think, she just ran to him. Now the man said, borrow vessels, not a few. She would have just said, excuse me, go back to the people. Some of them are relations to those who, who my husband owe. She didn't think, she just went back. And specifically she was told, gather vessels, not a few. Gather more than enough. Gather not a few. She was told very clearly, gather, just gather as much as you can gather. And she obeyed. He said, Paul, the percentage, somebody said the percentage does not matter. The percentage in your account does not matter. This year, you are going to be debt free. Listen to me in Jesus' name. This year, you are going to be debt free. I don't care. In Jesus, the percentage in your account does not matter. You are living this year debt free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is the person God is talking to? You're living this year debt free. We're talking about the spirit of debt here. And how God cured it without any form of headache. I see somebody. We don't always have this kind of broadcast, you know. But when God gives it to us, we maximize the blessing inside. I don't care who you are just hearing my voice. This is what the sovereign Lord is saying. 
irrespective of what you have as your balance. You will pay everything that needs to be paid that is outstanding for you this year. You will pay in Jesus' name. I see a great visitation that turns your financial status around. You're under the sound of my voice. You need an accommodation. You need a conducive an accommodation. Before this year ends, the visitation of God is coming your way. And that accommodation will come into reality. Anything that is standing as opposition is being removed right now. Please judge the judge spirit by spirit. Don't judge spirit by carnality. Okay? Don't judge spirit by carnality. Let me tell you one thing, man of God, woman of God. The beauty about 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 4. Somebody say Apostle Fire and I will tell you. Do you know the beauty of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 4? Ha 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 ha. Honestly, if I don't have four Apostle Fire, four, one, two, three, four. This one I'm very specific. Four Apostle Fire. Before I say it, the uniqueness of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 4. Four apostle fire, and I will count it. I've seen the first one from coming J. God bless you. Four, four, those four people, the first four people that will type it. May you not miss the blessings that I'm about to pronounce. Those four people, the first four that will type it. Okay, everyone that will type it. Let's not make first four. Okay, I've seen some. It's it's now up to four. It's even more than four. Okay, not um, oh Lord, let me amend in Jesus' name. Everyone that will type apostle fire. That's it. Okay. Do you know the beauty of 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 4? Father Bale Kogbamyo, calm down and listen to me. The kingdom come say me yo maditado. The kingdom come, calm down. Do you know the uniqueness? Do you know that until she poured, until she started pouring the oil, do you know that there was no miracle? Do you know some of us that the miracle you need will meet you in on when you take the action? Do you know that? I made the untro. So much, huh? That the miracle you have been expecting will not meet you where you are sitting down. It will not meet you where you are lamenting over your problem. Do you know? It will meet you while you are in action. Until she started pouring, she wouldn't have known what God had in stock. You have to pour. That, look, I'm emphasizing on 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 4. If you must enjoy that powerful divine multiplication, you must take action. If Esther did not enter to meet the king, he wouldn't even know that God has placed favor in the heart of the king for her, for prosperity. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3 and 4, he said that we should tie mercy and, fail, um, and, and grace around our neck. Tie mercy and grace right around our neck and then he says that you will find if you can tie mercy around your neck, it says you'll find good understanding and favor before God and before man. Unknown to her by taking that action, she has found favor before God. But if she did not enter, Esther chapter 5 verse 1, if she did not enter, if she did not take action to go and see the king, she would not know that God has placed favor by in the heart of the king for her. The king pro, 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 prophesied and promised prosperity instantly. He said, ask even up to half of my kingdom. Divine multiplication. Powerful, divine. But as, ask me now and I will multiply your wealth here and now. But that miracle came when she took action. Some of us need to take action. You need to take action. You are staying in one place for too long. When I mean action, I don't mean keep roaming around. Either action, if God said pray, pray. If God said borrow, borrow. If God say, you know, send a message, send a message. If God said contact, contact. Stop sitting down. If you sit, you will not see that miracle. He said pour, you have to pour. If you fail to pour, you can't blame God. Okay? If you fail to pour, you can't blame God. The one that said, please pray for, for us. I cover you with the power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The hand of God is upon you and your household now in Jesus' name. If God tells you pour, you pour. 
You have to pour. Don't push it aside and say, no, I am not. How many times have I? How many, uh, how many times have I tried? How many times have I done this? How many times have I done that? You don't need those kind of languages. Focus on the Lord. Everybody focus. Ask the Lord now. You see, a lot of people, they don't see God. They always see people. If you see people, you will gain from people. If you see God, you will gain from God. Where is your focus some people if you look up like david said in psalm 121 i will lift up my eyes to the hills on this mountain make sure your eyes are unto god not man not man one thing that has sustained this particular broadcast and ministry is because our focus is on god we don't disturb god's people we don't say what god did not ask us to say the little god give to us we say with all humility we are not practicing what other people are practicing the Lord has granted us the grace to stay on the mountain for two hours. We stay on the mountain for two hours praying. That's it. We, do not, we are not saying other people stay for this minute, other people stay for that minute. That one, we, that, that's not what God sent us. What God sent us is what we are doing. And we thank God for the testimonies that has come on this mountain. Somebody until she poured. Until she carried the pot and started to pour. Verse 5 shows the reward of obedience. Oh Lord, reward somebody with, with what? With the reward of obedience. Oh Lord, reward somebody on this mountain. Oh Lord, reward somebody on this mountain with what? With the reward of obedience. With the reward of obedience. You know, so the instant in verse 5, she now asked for, she poured out. She did pour out. She did pour out. She did pour out. She obeyed. She obeyed. Somebody put in prayer. Somebody put in prayer. Prayer as you obey. Please make sure your focus is on God. On God. On God. As you're praying today. Today we are here for divine multiplication. Powerful divine multiplication. But there is a principle around it. The principle you see in First Corinthians chapter two, verse twelve, verse thirteen and fourteen. The principle is based on verse 12 says, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of God. The spirit of the world we see in Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10, but properly expanded in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. That is the spirit of this world or the spirit that governs this wicked world. Hallelujah. Then you have the spirit of God or the spirit of the word. W-O-R-D. Now, that is in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 and verse 9. The spirit is mentioned there of wisdom, of counsel, of understanding, of power, of might, and the fear of God. Even the spirit of protection. The spirit of preservation in verse 9. That's why I am sure somebody on this mountain, you shall not die. You shall not, eh? You will not die. You shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. That's why I am double, double sure, triple sure, double sure that you shall not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ in the land of the living. You shall not die. Man of God, you shall not die. Woman of God, you shall not die. You shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. Your children, they will not die. Your business will not die. Your Anything that the Lord has committed into your hands, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord put the breath that causes things to multiply. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 5 of 2 Kings chapter 4, she obeyed. She obeyed. She obeyed. She obeyed. And... Verse 6, when she called for another vessel, unknown to her, the child said there's no more empty vessel. As you obey and you're putting in prayer mandate right now, if it's for your son, by the time you go back to your son, you will receive a testimony. If the prayer is for your daughter, as you leave this mountain and you return back to your daughter, you get a testimony. If the prayer is for your business, in the name of Jesus Christ, you, as you leave this mountain, you will get a testimony. The woman said, bring more vessels. Um, the, uh, the oil, the oil has not, the oil is still there. Bring more. He said the oil, there's no more container to contain the vessels. Somebody in the name of Jesus, in this year all that you have written in your list, all you have in your list to do, all you have in your to-do list, all you have in your to-do list, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will make all to become a reality for you. All will materialize. All will materialize. All will materialize in the name of Jesus Christ. 
all maragadalagaba jake kato zikayaba ni braleke teli on zalagadali mosi oragaba ebantaliu are you under the sound of my voice are you under the sound of my voice are you are you selling? Are you in business? Are you working? Wh what is that thing that you are engaged in? You need to focus on verse 7. Verse 7, 7 means perfection. The word that came made everything perfect. Until the Lord releases that word, you can have some people, haven't you seen people, they start um, business with millions and yet everything would deplete and they will not have nothing to show. Then you have people who start business with, with ordinary hundreds or thousands and it will grow to millions. It's because the spirit backing that one that is this thing is growing. Let me give you a practical example. I need just somebody to say Apostle Fire twice. Just see Apostle Fire twice. And then I will make you see practically an example. The Lord is putting an example in my mind to give to somebody about 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 7. Just Apostle Fire. And every hand I will type Apostle Fire, what I'm about to prophesy will come to pass in your life positively. Uh, it will come to pass positively in the name of Jesus. It will come to pass positively in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let us see. Why is it that a baby that is alive and a dead baby, why is it that the one that is alive grows and the dead baby does not grow? Why? Why? Because the baby that is alive has got a spirit. The spirit is alive in that child. That's why the child will grow from that level of baby to an adult, whether a male or female, it will grow. But if you were to keep that the same, that's why if a twin comes out and one God forbid one is dead and one is alive. Keep both of them and be and be doing whatever you need to do. You find out that the one that has life, because there's a spirit inside that child, it will grow. But the one that has no spirit will remain like that. It will not grow. That's why for you to do business, you need to contact the right spirit. You need to contact the right spirit. For you to start a family, you want to marry, you need the right spirit. If you don't have the right spirit, the marriage will still crash. It will not grow. If you want to have children, you need the right spirit. If you are going into partnership with somebody, you need to go in with the right spirit. If not, nothing will happen. This woman came back to Elisha. If she did not come back to Elisha, the spirit released will not have gone with her. So all what she has seen would have gone the same way they came. That is why sometimes we emphasize, but although some people overemphasize and they've made a mess of it, we apologize. But we tell people, pay your tithe. Why? Because by paying your tithe, you have invited the Spirit of God into the remaining money. The money now becomes like a baby. It's not enough. Even if you don't pay your tithe, the money will not be enough. If the money is not enough, 100%, removing 10% will not make it enough either. <clears throat> if 90% is not enough for somebody, adding 10% will not make any much difference. It will not make any difference at all, honestly speaking. What that 90% cannot do, that 10% will make no, no, no sense. But the truth is that that 10% brings life into the 90%. 90% left. That is the spiritual understanding. Remember 1 Corinthians 2 verse 13. We are comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Listen to me with your spirit, not the carnal, not the carnal part. That's why we encourage people. That's why people sow a seed. That's why people give arms to people. They give arms so that there will be a spirit that will now have mercy on them. Hallelujah. That's, that's why you see people, they are praying on the mountain. They are not praying for themselves sometimes. They are praying for a brother. They are praying for a sister. They are praying for children. They are praying, you know, they are praying, that, you know, we look at four types of prayer. So they are engaged in supplication, not for themselves sometimes. They are even engaged in intercession, 100% for some people. And they are engaged in prayers and sometimes not even focusing on themselves alone. And so they say, it's so that the right spirit can be invited. And so Elijah, Hallelujah. Elijah told the woman, go and sell. You see that word? When he said go, sell. Honestly, you until that woman sells, no other person will sell. I prophesy the same grace upon all those who are into buying and selling. May the spirit in 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 7 come upon you. 
Even if you are doing your career work, if you are doing career work, if you are a student, whatever you are doing, may it adapt into your into your field of uh, of practice in the name of Jesus Christ. Sell. You can tell that this is a decree. This is declaring a decree. It was not an appeal. Go. It's a powerful command. Even computer understands that command. Go. That's why they have the go command on the computer. Go. G-O. Capital G-O. Go. That power has... The, you will find the spirit of might from nowhere. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. You find the spirit of might. You can never be tired in the morning that you're meant to go for your business or go for your work. Because the Lord said go. There will be might. There will be strength. You will be excited to go. You will not even know. The spirit of wisdom will just come upon you. When I do it like this, I'll do it like that. When I put this, let me arrange like this. Let me arrange like that. There will be a spirit. A spirit of counsel. How you talk to your customers, even when they provoke you. you say, oh, no, customer, it's not like that. No, it's not like, why not let's do it like this? Like, even if they come into your office and they say, they say oh, that person is very mature. I love that office. It's an experience. Because the spirit of counsel is at work. The spirit of might is at work. The spirit of knowledge, the way you tackle, I mean, problem, what makes you relevant is when you are able to provide solutions to problems. That's just it. This world, you watch those who are earning, they are earning because they are solving you know, problems. They are solutions you know they are providing solution end of story get any job and get any business that's providing solution they will never lack services that's it you need knowledge to provide services you need knowledge to provide solution and but that there must be a spirit feeling that knowledge or that solution people by the mercies of god come back to the mountain because the lord keeps giving us knowledge keeps giving us how the word of god can be relevant to god's people that's just that's just it and they say when i come there I, I hear the word of God. I meet with God. I don't even remember that, you know, I don't even remember that it's online. It's so real to me. I'm, I'm like, I'm in a church. I feel the presence of God. That's it. The people are not coming for, for to waste their time. Time is precious in our days. Time is precious for somebody to leave their time an hour or two and engage. Ah, you must have the spirit of knowledge. You must have the spirit of God to engage. Even engage somebody for five minutes. You, I'm telling you, you need the right spirit to engage somebody for five minutes. And take five minutes out of their 24 hour that God has given to them, both day and night. Because the day is only 12 hours. People don't know. If day and night, that's 24. God punish the devil. Go and sell. Leave this mountain, go and prosper. Leave this mountain, go and make a difference in your world. Leave this mountain, go and be relevant. Leave this mountain, go and make your children, in Jesus' name, the pride of heaven. Go and make your marriage the pride of heaven. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Pay thy debt. That's the next one. You see, you need the power to be able to pay. You don't just pay because you have to pay. No, you need the power. You need the grace. To pay anyone, everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the grace to pay for anything outstanding that you have. Anything outstanding that you have that has brought shame up upon you, Isaiah 61, verse 7. Double, double, double. I prophesy, double, double, double. I prophesy. Percentage does not matter with our God, yes, it does not matter. Percentage does not matter with our God. Double, 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 I prophesy. I prophesy the double upon you, man of God. The double upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your testimony will know no bound. Your testimony will know no bound. Then again, she was given the mandate, live with what is left. So somebody in the name of Jesus Christ, you, everything God gives to you this year, you'll be able to live out of it. You will not use it and it brings sickness. You will not use it and it brings pain. You will not use it and it, and it brings death. No way. You will use it in Jesus' name and it will bring you result. It will bring you joy. It will bring you result. It will bring you joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Man of God, woman of God, go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Percentage does not matter. When we are looking at this kind of examples, we are making it categorically clear 
that what percentage does not what it does not matter percentage does not matter man take calibrato so o zagaba telimo sikaba percentage does not matter matala gada labos o ragaya andali katali percentage does not matter god punish the devil punish 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 man gedali e kaya andali bro sikaba percentage does not matter and that's why i know that prospering is inevitable prospering is inevitable for you you must surely you will surely prosper in the name of jesus christ if this example is not convincing enough in first kings chapter 17 verse 7 first kings chapter 17 verse 7 to 16 the same thing the same thing happened with elijah this one is another level this one happened with the oil that one happened with you know food i mean items of material you know some items the lord told elijah i have commanded a widow to sustain you so i'm going to terminate your feeding here on 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 um at this point you need to go to the what to the woman she would sustain you going forward you see when elijah came to the woman you know the woman was like excuse me what kind of thing are you saying what, what are you saying? How is that possible? If you start to read from verse 8, the word of God came unto me and said, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow, a widow woman there to sustain thee. Can you imagine that? A widow woman to sustain thee. I have commanded. That's the word of God to the man of God. Be and God did it not because of the man of God. Mind you, the man of God was being blessed already. The man of God was getting his supply. But God did it, I am sure, because of what this woman. Is this woman God wanted to bless? Sometimes when the Lord leads you some to do something, it's not because of probably what you think is because of something else the man of god the god interrupted his supply and connected his supply to this woman so that that woman can be sustained thank god she happened to be a woman of that that will obey god hallelujah and so he arose and went to zarephat and when he came to the gate of the city behold the widow woman was there gathering gathering of sticks and he said to her Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Thank God for this kind of women. Thank God for this kind of women. Get me some water to drink. That's how it started. Mind you, what did we talk about in Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2? We talked about the spirit of wisdom. Sometimes God will give us prophecy. Don't just say prophecy in a way that people cannot bear. Even as men of God, we need the spirit of Isaiah 11 verse 2. God told him he will sustain you. Some people would have seen that woman and say, Woman, come here. Thus said the Lord. The Lord said you will sustain me. The woman would have uh, probably, the way some people give messages, that's why they cut people away from divine supply. We need wisdom. I'm sorry to say I'm not insulted. We need wisdom when we are delivering messages. I have delivered messages to, to different people in different ways. I hardly will say, Thus said the Lord. It has, at the end, I will tell the person, that's what God says I should tell you. I will say, ah, but you don't always say it. I said, but the way I said it, didn't you understand? And I, and I encourage you to do it. Did God prove himself? I didn't even know God would prove himself. Did God prove himself or not? But some people want to put fear in people. I'm sorry to say, but it sounds as if you want to put fear in people. You can't even give them the opportunity to decide whether to do it or not to do it. The way you have said the message, they are already doing it urinating. They are already doing it obeying nature. Ah, stop it. That's not it. Look at Elijah. Look at Elisha. Look at the way they delivered the prophecy. They knew what God wanted to do. But the spirit of wisdom was at work. The spirit of counsel was at work. The spirit of the knowledge of God was at work. We need to know how to deliver this word to God's people. Stop getting people jittery. Stop getting people demonic, you know, conscious. Get them conscious of God. Get them conscious of the love of God and the wickedness of, of, of Satan. People can define Satan more than they can define God. That is because of some people's preaching. That's because of how some people come across to people. You talk so much of Satan, 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 Satan. They go home, they are dreaming of Satan. That altar is meant to be the altar of God. Go and see whether how many times the people who worship Satan talk about God on their own altar. But when you people are on your own altar, you talk about another force more than God. Once in a while, God can make you to make 
an emphasis or, or two there. But 80%, 90% of your preaching is meant to be centered on God. It's some, some people even, they'll use people as to shooting rate. That's why you tell them about the woman that did that, that man that did that, that church member that did this. You start to tell stories that is not relevant. People did not come to hear stories. If they want to hear stories, they know where to go to. They came to meet God. They want to hear God. They want to pray. And you are dead, wasting their time. Elijah did not waste the time of this woman and did not catch her by fear. A lot of men of God say, do you know the kind of man of God that I am? Do you know the anointing in my life? Who are you? Jesus did not even talk to people like that. Who you be? Who are you? Who are you? Some people put fear in other people that this is this kind of mighty man of God. When they die, they say, can a mighty man of God like that die? In fact, I don't want to go there. Let's not go there. Praise God. Look at what Elijah said. Fetch me water. Let me drink. Of course, he knows where he's going. The woman left what she, she was doing. She went to get the water. And, he's, and as she was going, listen to the wisdom. Listen to Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. In prophecy. So some people, when you prophesy, all this, most, most of what people call prophecy is not prophecy. And that's not even the prophecy the church needs. The prophecy the church needs is called the word of wisdom. Look at how to give word of wisdom. He already knows what will happen. No? Lord, I've told him he will sustain you. That's in the future. It has not happened. Now wisdom to deliver that word of uh, wisdom. He said, as the womb, as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, bring me, please. I mean, some men of God, even though you are almighty, you are, you are apostle, you are prophet, please, can we know how to, to just use the word please? Can we just make God's people feel valued? Can we see God in those people when we are talking to them and not just command them because God has given you anointing? This is Elijah saying, I pray thee. I plead with you. I appeal to your sense of judgment. I appeal to whatever makes you the woman of God that you are. Can you see how to talk to God's people? God's people know how to talk to men of God. Oh, that's not a problem. Or a woman of God. They know how to talk very well. Even some of them talk to them as if they are God. They are God first and God is their secretary. The way some of them shake. But men of God, do you know how to talk to God's people? Where we need revival is where men of God talk to God's people. We don't need revival for people to talk to men of God. To reverence God in the man, man of God, woman of God. We don't need revival there. Where we need revival in our days. Some men of God, you are kicking the church member. You are saying that you are passing anointing, you are kicking them. You are carrying them and throwing them on the chair. You are spitting on their face. If the Holy Spirit will ask you to do it. If you do it, now you see. So the revival we need. Is to get men fervent like Elijah and Elisha address God's people properly. That's where we are praying that God will revive and have mercy. And stop looking at church as your property. Stop looking at church members as your property. Stop talking to them as if you are the one who created them, who woke them up in the morning. They are accountable to God Almighty. You are a servant of God. I don't even know whether servant has changed in definition. You are a servant. We need to go back and check the meaning of servant. Even though you have police escort, you are a servant. Even though, yes, church member wait for you to enter before they enter, you are still a servant of God. Don't they let your head be too much, oh. Don't they, don't they feel too much, oh. You are still a servant. And we need to always humble ourselves and go and check the meaning of servant. The meaning of servant. I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. Just carry small. And let's say bring all oh, Look at wisdom. Look at counsel. Look at the spirit of counsel. If you see a man of God prospering, I'm telling you, you must have the spirit of God. And that spirit of God is the spirit of wisdom, spirit of might, spirit of counsel, spirit of knowledge, spirit of the fear of God. This thing, spirit of understanding. Just look at that understanding. He said, just a muscle, just very tiny, just little, just tiny bread in thy hand. And she said, thank God for church members that will not hide their feelings. And some men of God, when church members don't hide their feelings, you get threatened. And you're challenging the anointing. You're, you're challenging me. Apostle. You know, say, I'm the apostle. If they call you JB, say, is it me you call JB? 
Have you forgotten? Call me by my title. Apostle. Ta, 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 ta. Now what for you? <laughs> Thank God for church members that will not keep quiet. Peter is one of them. They will not keep quiet. They go say what they in their mind. If you like, oh, get angry with them. They go talk their mind. She said, as the Lord thy God leave it, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil, of course. And behold, I am gathering two. Just, to, I mean, with the kind of stick she's gathering, you can you can know the proportion of what she wants to cook. That's why she emphasized just two sticks. I'm gathering that I may go in and dress it. For me and my son, that we may eat and uh, we may die. Somebody, you will not die this year. The Lord has brought this broadcast your way. You think you're going to die this year. You will not die. Your business will not die this year. Your marriage will not die this year. In Jesus, your finances will not die this year. The hope that you have in God will not die this year. Maybe that's why God made that person to share this broadcast and he came to you. Maybe why, that's why God used somebody to, to put in prayer mandate and you are, you are benefiting from those prayer mandate as you're reading the comment. You will not die. You have been too faithful to God in time past. You are too faithful to God right now that he's going to allow you, your name to be written among the death list. Your name cannot enter into death. death, death. You will not die. Your name cannot, your family member's name cannot enter into the death list. It's not possible. Your business cannot crash. Your business cannot, they cannot suck you in that office. Karala Dayagaba. I prayed for somebody walking in, in the airport in Nigeria. There was this recession time that took place before this reshuffling that just took place right now. I'm talking about something that happened a few months ago. In, at the airport, international airport, not the local one, international. I made a prayer with that person. They were removing people, removing people, removing people from work. Several, several number of them. I told the person, thus said the Lord, that the Lord will preserve your job for you. Before God, that we must not call into any form of evil. Rather than that person to be removed, the person was promoted to the level of a manager. Hallelujah. There are certain things when you speak, you are speaking. When Elijah is speaking here, he wasn't speaking because he wanted to speak. He was speaking because God told him. God has revealed to him. Now, most men of God that you see that God give the grace, they say something and it come to pass, it's because they took time to hear from God. When they hear from God, they are even trying to make sure that the person that is hearing them speak makes faith with it. You think Jesus doesn't know that when the blind man comes that he, he wants his eyes to be open. But Jesus will ask, what would you have me do? You see? So that his mind can be into what is about to be. He leave room. So what would you have me do? Again, he will not just say, bah! he will say, be it unto you according to your faith. So God knows how to fashion these things. You will not die this year. The Lord has brought you so that your faith can be activated. The Lord has brought you so that your faith can be connected. The Lord has brought you so that you can say, above all, that he is faithful, that he is God, that there is none like unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. Elijah said unto her, verse 13, fear not. Somebody let us type fear not nine times. I don't know how panicky you are right now. In Jesus' name, join me as we say fear not. Join me as we say fear not. The Lord is saying, tell somebody fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not. Fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear not. Go and do as thou hast said. That is to prepare what you want to prepare. Go and do as thou hast said. However, the man of God is saying, however, but make me thereof a little cake first. Now, this is where you reverencing the word and the man of God is because giving to God is the best thing and it must be first. You can't make it last. You need to give God first. <coughs> if you do not, excuse me, if God punish the devil, if you do not give God first, you cannot invite God into it. If you do not give God first, you cannot invite God into it. A lot of people want to give God, they give God the last. 
That's what makes the difference between the gift of Abel and the gift of Cain. You need to give God first and the best. First and best. That's what you need to give to God. First and the best. First and the best you need to give to God. I pray in Jesus' name. For any man, every woman, under the sound of my voice, that you give God first and you give God the best. You give God first, you give God the best. And fear leave your heart right now. May fear disappear from your mind. May fear disappear from your heart. May fear disappear from your children. May fear disappear from your family. Fear ye not. Fear ye not. Fear ye not. Fear not. Fear not, but make me thereof a little cake first and bring it unto me. And bring it unto me. Somebody, you might need to sort things out for God first. And after that, the miracle you need, the powerful divine multiplication you need will become your portion. Somebody receive grace to sort the things of God out first. Go and sort those things God is laying in your heart. Go and do that one first. You have to. And after that, you will now enjoy the divine, the, the, the divine, the powerful divine multiplication, the powerful divine multiplication that does not take note of percentage. You will enjoy it. Hallelujah. You will enjoy it. He said, go and do it and then bring to me first. And then after you are brought to me, after make for thee and for thy son. Verse 14. For thus said the Lord. Look at when Elijah now spoke. Look at wisdom at work. For thus, look at when he has got the woman's attention. She seen the willingness and she needed to motivate her at this point. Not from fear, but from to make her understand that God knows the circumstance. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, the barren of meal shall not waste, neither shall the corn of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went. Hallelujah. And she went. The word was comforting and strong enough. She did not argue. She went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her household did eat many days. You will 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 eat many days. The percentage of the corn and, uh, and the oil did not matter. The percentage of the flour and the oil did not matter. What mattered was obedience. And thank God for the wisdom God gave to the man of God to deliver the message to her with wisdom. To deliver the message to her with wisdom. I want to believe that the wisdom of God is at work on this mountain. And I believe that somebody, you can hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying clearly with all due respect. You can hear clearly what the Spirit of the Lord is echoing in your heart. In Jesus' name, receive that Mimshak anointing. The anointing that causes things to expand, that causes things to grow, that causes things to replicate itself in our life. Receive what? The Mimshak, the Mimshak, receive the Mimshak anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing that brings revolution. The anointing that revolutionizes everything around you and everything you know that your hand find it to do. Receive the Mimshak anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer, put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakaba and Dalikateli. These two examples that we have seen in the Old Testament are examples of certain percentage. Certain percentage of what God used to, to bring multiplication and prosperity into the life of his people. There was certain percentage. Now we are going to look at zero percentage. That is the kind of God we serve. Even with zero percentage, he can do and undo. Even with zero percentage, he is faithful till the end. Even with zero percentage, there is no limitation with God. How have you come onto this mountain? What are your expectations? What are your expectations? What is that focus of yours right now? How would you want God to respond in anything and everything that you have found to do? In the name of Jesus Christ. I am here to assure somebody under God that in the name of Jesus Christ, whether a fraction of percentage is what is existing or zero percentage, that will never 
that will never be a hindrance. That will never stop what God wants to do in your life, in my life, in our life. It will not stop in Jesus' name. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, 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 prayer. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Masha Gagadalagaba. Ibra Lagadalagaba. Talios. O brale mashan katalimosi iba kan talios ibra leke tell you Luke chapter five is where we are we are dropping the curtain. Luke chapter five is where we are dropping the curtain. That's where we are rounding up. Luke chapter five, hallelujah. Luke chapter five, and it came to pass from verse one. Luke chapter five from verse one. It came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of uh, uh, to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. He stood by that gate and he saw two sheep standing. He saw two sheep standing. He saw two sheep standing by the lake. He saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their net. He saw two sheep. There are two kinds of people on this broadcast, you and others. There are two kinds of people on this broadcast, you and others. God is seeing two sheep. God is seeing two sheep. I'm praying that God will take a liking to your sheep on this mountain. I'm praying that God will take a liking to your sheep on this mountain. Are you washing your net? Are you washing your net? This year has finished. There's no hope anymore. This year has finished. It has not finished. There remained hope for he that is with the Lord. There remained hope for the tree that is caught. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. Jesus has cited you. Jesus has cited your business. Jesus has cited your family. Jesus has cited your children. Jesus has cited the work of your hand. Jesus has cited you. Hallelujah. People are yearning to hear the word of God. People are yearning to hear the word of God. But Jesus has cited you to be a partner so that the word can get to somebody. But as the word is getting to somebody, you will prosper. As the word is getting to somebody, that limitation in your life is taken away. As the word is getting to somebody, as you're putting in prayer, you're putting in prayer, prayer. You're sharing the broadcast. You are doing things to make the gospel get to somebody. That is how God is turning your life and your story around in the name of Jesus Christ. And he entered into one of the sheep. Somebody, will you allow Jesus enter into your subconscious? Will you allow Jesus enter into your heart? Instead, you have a choice. Let Jesus enter or let Satan enter. Let the word of God enter or let the fear of the world enter. Which one would you permit to enter? Jesus enter into the sheep. I pray that Jesus will enter into your circumstance right now. I pray that Jesus will step into the sheep of your of your business, sheep of your family, sheep of is entering into that sheep right now. Hallelujah. He said unto Simon, He said, is look at what Jesus. That's why I said that. I mean, the revival we need is how men of God address God's people, not how God's people address men of God. This is Jesus addressing the owner of the sheep. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him. This is Jesus Christ. So Jesus pleaded with, with Simon Peter. How many men of God will plead? How many men of God will say, I plead with you, I pray you. Jesus, look at the example. I showed you that of Elijah. I showed you that of Elisha. I'm showing you that of Jesus Christ. The revival we need is how men of God address God's people. The way God's men of God address other men of God. Just because you are more prosperous than that man of God. Just because you are paying the salary of, of several people under you and that man of God, probably you are the one helping. We need to know how to address God's people. If God has put you in the place of, of authority, you have to be humble. Jesus is showing the perfect example down to earth leadership. Down to earth leadership. I pray and I'm praying him that he will thrust out a little from the land. Please, please, can you move this um, ship a little bit from the land? You know, please move it. This is Jesus talking. But some people cannot say please to their wife. They can't say please to their children. They can't say please to church members. They can't say please. Because you are the one paying salary. You are the big boss. You can't say please. God have mercy. Jesus is saying please. Did Jesus have to say please? Jesus can make the, the, the ship just move. Jesus can command the ship move by yourself. The sheep just command him move into the water and the sheep will obey. But the Lord is saying, the owner, earthly owner, please move. And like we tell people, please support. Please let God use you. Please put in prayer mandate. Please let God do this. And God's people are doing it beautifully well. 
as the Spirit of God is leading them. You see? And he sat down, he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Remember that there was no time for him to go out. Mind he was doing something. He left whatever he was doing and got busy with Jesus Christ. Somebody, may you always respect the time of prayer, respect the time of fellowship, respect the time of broadcast. The time of broadcast cannot make your day ruined. It cannot make your business stop functioning. And honestly, Peter left and just saw that many minutes or hours, but what he gained, what he gained was much more than what he would have gained in three months or one year put together. When you give God quality time, God will, anything you sow is what matters with God. He will give you back good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. He will restore back to you. Make God your first, give God first. Even Elijah said, prepare my own first. Peter forgot about his idea and decided to stay with Jesus first. Give God parity. Hallelujah. Give God parity. Give God parity. If you, are a, if you are a church member under the sound of my voice, this, this um, uh, end of year, before you buy your own things in the house, if truly that man of God is really a man of God, if truly that woman of God is a woman of God, if truly that boss has been used by God to promote you, to lift you up, before you buy your Christmas gift, buy their own first. This is how to handle them. Although I know congregation, God bless you, a lot of you are doing it anyway. A lot of you are doing it. But buy it first. See God in that person, no matter their character. Because God knows how to deal with the people. God will not deal with us in Jesus' name. See God first. Sort God out. That's it. No matter your state of mind, sort the things of God out first. Then, come back to other things. So Peter, Simon Peter, just was there. And after everything in verse 4, what did the Lord say? Remember 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 4. Remember 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 4. Now this one is Luke chapter 5 verse 4. I don't know why it's verse 4 verse 4 miracle is taking place. So I don't know. But this one, verse 4 again. 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 4. And here again, Luke chapter 5 verse 4. Launch out. This was from the mouth of Jesus Christ. Launch out into the deep. Mayagadalagadayagaba. Hey, who says that God doesn't know what you're going through? Who says that God doesn't know your state of mind? Who says that God cannot hear your prayer requests? Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a drought. Before he caught, before he caught the fish, Jesus already told him the result. Let down your net for a powerful divine multiplication. Zero. Look at the confession of Peter in verse 5. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled, as in that we are hustlers. We have hustled. We have toiled. We have used the carnal energy. You forgot it that there's a spirit. Is it that you use the spirit of the world or you use the spirit of the word? Now the spirit of the word has been released. Jesus has just released the spirit of the word. It is the word. There must be a spirit that backs you up in anything you're doing. That's why when the woman came back to Elisha, Elisha said, sell. Elisha said, pay your debt. Elisha said, live out of it. There must be a spirit ushering those words. <coughs> and I'm saying it to somebody, sell, pay your debts. Live out of the remaining that you have in Jesus' name. Jesus told him here, when he came to Jesus Christ, he said, launch out. Somebody, it's time for you to launch. Because until you launch out, there will not be miracle. It will not meet you where you are sitting down. You have to launch out by faith. Launch out. You have to launch out. The woman was told to pour. If she did not pour, no miracle. The woman was told, as you are going, fetch me. Fetch me a little, a little muscle. Fetch me. You have to. In action, the miracle starts. Somebody hearing me, take action as you leave this broadcast. Take action. Take action. Take action. Take action in that area God is commanding you. Take action. So you see. Take action. Enter into prayer. Take a, you must take action. Esther took action in Esther chapter 4. He said, she said, if I perish, I perish. I'm going into fasting. You must take action. In the place of action, there will be a release. Master, we have toiled all through the night and have taken nothing. Zero percent. I told you earlier on, percentage does not matter to God when he wants to multiply you. We have taken nothing. Nothing. Nothing shows us is zero percent. God bless Peter in this place very smart. I say thank God for church members that will talk and say their mind. Thank God for church members like Peter that will not keep quiet. They will say their mind. This is him talking to Jesus Christ. 
He said, ah, I've thought it through the night. I understand this business very well. I've mastered these skills, but I did not get anything. Nevertheless, this is where we need people of God to be smart and wise. Nevertheless, at thy W-O-R-D, at thy word. I've just shown you in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, the, the spirit of the word. The spirit of the word. The spirit of the word. is either you are working with the spirit of W-O-R-D or you are working with the spirit of W-O-R-L-D. But we have not received the spirit of W-O-R-L-D. What we have received is the spirit of W-O-R-D. Peter here received the spirit of W-O-R-D. That's why he got a miracle. If you receive the spirit of W-O-R-D under the sound of my voice right now, I can assure you that you're ending this year with testimonies. You're ending this year with joy. You're ending this year with a shout of hallelujah. He says here, I received the spirit of W-O-R-D. That's what Peter is saying here. I received the spirit. I don't care whether anybody sees it. I don't care whether anybody knows about it. I can and see something at thy word because of the spirit of that word what i have listened to i want to practice what i have listened to i want to be a practical doer of it i want to coin on near with what you are saying the spirit of the uh, thy word if not for that word i would do it oh if not for that word i would i would i would still stay on my on, on my experiences i will stay on my intelligence i will stay on my skills but i submit somebody we are comparing spiritual things with spiritual things first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13 spiritual things with spiritual things not carnal things with spiritual carnal is his skills but he did not compare with the word the spirit of the word he says i submit to the spirit of the word i want to see the spirit in the spirit of the word he is he, he, he threw away carnality bible said in galatians chapter 6 verse 8 that if you sow into the flesh you will reap corruption but if you sow into the spirit you will reap life eternal peter is saying i want to sow into the spirit at thy word. I want to sow into the spirit. And when they had this done, they enclosed, see the word, a great multitude of fishes. When English words say fishes, it means all kinds of fish. Normally, there's no plural for fish. Fish is fish. No matter how many millions. But when you hear English language say fishes, that means there are different types of fishes there are different types different species different you know categories different families that's why i say multiple of different variations tilapia shark all this kind of horse the horse fish all, all kinds catfish blah blah all different types great somebody gets set for that powerful great multiplication that powerful divine great multiplication gets set and in fact bible said that the neck the net broke somebody what god will do in jesus name your heart will live for joy you will not know how to shout you will not know how to dance you will not know how to testify from zero to hero from zero to hero from zero to hundred above hundred percent from zero to hundred above hundred percent percentage does not matter with god the quality of what you are saying if only you embrace the quality if only you embrace the quality if only you embrace the quality maragaya delimo sokaba the quality of the word the quality of the word if only you can speak like simon today the spirit of the word i receive i know what i can think i know what i can say i know what we have seen in our days about men of god and church but i submit to the spirit of the word i submit to what i have heard under the spirit of god in this broadcast and i say lord have your way that's why the woman the wi the widow the wife of the prophet that's why she prospered that's why the widow of Zarephath prospered and that is why Peter here prospered because he submitted to the spirit of the world as against the spirit of the world the spirit of the world doubts the spirit of the world is full of fear the spirit of the world limits God but the spirit of the world say he says it he brings it to back nothing can be impossible with God it can only be God in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit says stop there somebody put in prayer put in prayer prayer hot prayers communicate based on what you have heard communicate based on what God has shown to you communicate based on what God has revealed and start to put prayer put in prayer 
put in prayer, prayer, put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Ligra la gaba mpalmos. O zake ba katali. Ibare ndalika ebra toso gaba. When we pray in tongues like I am doing 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 14. When I pray in tongues, it said that my understanding is so fruitful. I am 100% in the spirit. And I'm just doing what God asked me to do. That's why I pray in tongues. Mara da gada la gaba. Izae katalios. O ragaba jake bali katali. Italia ma bakatoso. O zandeli balie. Ribara gada la gaba. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit pray yet. The spirit of the word pray yet. The spirit of W O R D. Pray yet. When I pray in tongues, but my understanding is unfruitful. My carnality is cut off. My understanding is unfruitful. Somebody put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Libra laga ye matosukaba. O zakaba de kalie. Maka dalikatoso. O sare ba italimosi. O sare ba italimosi. O sare ba italimosi. O sare ba italimosi. Jale kada. Dalima e brantosi kaba, o zaleba e brandali kozi kaba, o dereke deli brantaliu, o dereke deli brantaliu, o dereke deli brantaliu, manga dalaga dalaga ba, manga dalaga dalaga ba, o zageba e branda deli mosi kaba. Oh Lord, at Thy word, that it grant us people on this mountain that will say at Thy word. Oh Lord, grant us people, oh God, that will say at Thy word, that will stand at Thy word, that will say at Thy word. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mashantali e brale, o sa. Catali Mosica, O Raga Baba, Mikatali Bronzica Batali, Mikatali Bronzica Batali, Mika Batali Bronzica Batali, O Kaye Bacantali, Manga Gagagaga, Rabaketeli Bronzicaba, Rabba Baba, Matosukaba, E Kali, Matosukaba, E Catali, Matosukaba, E Catali, Ibra Leke tell you, O Rabanda Licatoso, O Rabanda Licatoso, Jare Mantali, E Cari Batalio Zicaba, Jare Dalibare. Katali bro sikaba, jare bandali e karabaton sikaba tali. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost fire power, Holy Ghost power fire, Holy Ghost fire power, Holy Ghost power fire, Holy Ghost fire power, Holy Ghost power fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Alpha Omega, thank you, thank you, Ancient of Days, thank you, thank you, Beginning and the End, thank you for the change that you have brought in the life of your people, thank you for the change that you brought, oh God, in the lives of God's people. Thank you. Thank you, oh God, for making us, oh God, whom you want us to be. Thank you for making us, oh Lord, into whom you want us to be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you. Thank you, beginning and the end. Thank you. Thank you, first and the last. Thank you. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Somebody under the sound of our voice, this year is not your year to die. You shall not die. You shall not die. The woman say, I want to prepare the food for me and my son to eat and die. Death is not your portion. Death has jumped over you. Death has jumped over your family. Death has jumped over your household member. Your business will not die. Your marriage will not die. Your loved ones will not die. You will not bury in Jesus name. In Jesus name. It's time somebody who is that person washing the net. It's not time to wash your net because God wants to visit you. It's not time to wash your net because God wants to remember you. It's not time to wash your net because God still has plans for you. If only you will submit to the spirit of the world. Forget about the spirit of this world. It will not bring multiplication. It will not. Only God can give. The gift and the calling of God is without repentance. It is the gift of God that make it rich and added no sorrow. Every gift from the world will always bring sorrow. Only the gift of God make it rich and added no sorrow. I see the Lord. Ma shanta kabate. Ibra leka dalimosika. O zaraga dalimosika ba. I see the Lord lift you up. I see the Lord honor you. I see the Lord enlarge you. I see the Lord honor his name in your life. I see the Lord glorify his name in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you would like to give your life to Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand towards me even whilst others are praying. Even whilst others are praying, stretch forth your hand towards me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed knowingly and unknowingly. I confess any sin, every sin that I have committed knowingly and unknowingly. 
Wash me clean with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Wash me clean. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say with me, any sin and every sin that I have committed, O Lord, consciously and unconsciously, today, O Lord God Almighty, I confess, O Lord, I confess, I denounce them. Every covenant that I have entered into, Daddy, let it be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the blood of Jesus Christ. Say, I believe in my heart Jesus died for me, was buried for my sake, for my sake was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, and so I find salvation wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, with all due respect. Join me and say, I am born again. Say, I am born again. Say, I am born again, and it is binding the name of Jesus Christ. If you like to rededicate your life unto God, say with me, say, I rededicate. Say, I rededicate, say, I rededicate my life unto you, Alpha, Omega, and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, I thank you. For your power, your glory, I thank you. For the power of your word, for the spirit behind your word, I thank you. I thank you for every ministry that you have brought onto this mountain to be a blessing, to save souls, to minister life. Jehovah, you have used every man in a unique way. Daddy, I ask, oh God, that you will reward your church and let eternity not fail to reward your people. I come before you, most high God, and I want to say in the name of Jesus Christ, for every man of God, woman of God that has given their life unto you, I ask, oh God, for the right mentor, mentoring. I, I ask for the right mentoring in the name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. I ask for the right mentoring. I ask for the right impartation. I ask for the right connections into their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Everyone, oh God, Jehovah, that have made up their mind to serve you, that is sustained by your grace, by your power, by your mercy, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you, oh God, for everyone that has dedicated their life unto you. Sustain your church. Thank you because people will not die. Thank you because nothing connected to them will die. Thank you because Deuteronomy 28 verse 12, verse 11, 12 and 13 is activated for us and our household. Thank you, O oh God, Jehovah, because they will not borrow. And those that have already borrowed, they will pay up. They go now. They pay off their debt and they live with what is left in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, they are going right now and it is time to launch, oh God, for a great result to take place in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancient of this Alpha and Omega, let the corn and the oil never cease in the lives of anyone, everyone that is under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, teach, oh God, your people teach those who are serving at the altar daddy to address your people in the way that you have commanded even the example Jesus has shown us grant people grace to do so and then also the congregation under the sound of my voice grant them the power to put you first to pay their tithe first to give offering first daddy to honor how to build your house first to do your work first it's a command it's a command it must be done first. Even with the state of mind of Peter, he needed to abandon whatever he was doing and push the, the, the ship into the water first. And then you remembered it. That he helped each and every one of us to take corrections where necessary. To take corrections where necessary. So that we may enjoy your provisions as we compare spiritual things with spiritual in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because these ones are not carnal. And so it is not foolishness unto them according to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. It's not foolishness. They are able to discern verse 13 spiritual things with spiritual things. Make your people 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 5. Make them a living stone. Make them indeed, O Lord Jehovah. Whenever we gather to, like this, O Lord, whenever. Make us that spiritual house. Offering spiritual sacrifices that are acceptable and that are okay in the eyes of the Lord. This world is a spiritual place. Made, Psalm 24 made us to know. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell there. Help us to operate in this world with the spirit of Acts chapter 19 verse 20. The world grew and prevailed. The spirit of the world can never be can never be contained, can never be can never shrink down 
in this world. It's not possible. It grows in leaps and bounds. That it release that spirit upon everyone that desire in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for healing for everyone who needs healing. I pray, oh God, for a turnaround for everyone that needs turnaround. I pray, oh God, for somebody's gifting to be put into use. Because until we obey, until we take that action, multiplication will not start. Daddy, whoever has been, been procrastinating, whoever been dragging their feet, whoever have been, have been using, you know, excuses upon excuses to delay the miracle. Oh Lord, let the spirit of might come upon them and let them take action in the name of Jesus Christ. This word will not be a judgment unto us, no. It will be an upliftment and it will edify your church. It will be an upliftment unto us and our household in the name of Jesus Christ. Alpha, Omega, I pray for everyone in the hospital, prison, home. And I ask, oh God, for mercy and grace to come upon your people. Mercy and grace in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray based on what? I pray based on Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3. I ask, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that mercy, I ask for mercy and truth to be our trademark. Everyone on this mount, mountain, mercy and and truth that we may find favor and good understanding before God and before men. Grant us the grace to put our trust in you completely, as verse 5 says, and in all our ways may we acknowledge you in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the spirit of Isaiah 58, verse 8 and 9. I release the spirit of Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53, verse 5. I release the spirit of Isaiah 55, verse 1, unto everyone that needs healing, everyone that needs breakthrough, everyone that needs upliftment, everyone that has come unto the Lord right now today in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I release the spirit of Isaiah 11 verse 2 in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ your people will surely testify because the one that was meant to die will not die again the one that they are, meant, they are coming to seize or to take their properties by force by fire to seize or to recover the, those things that were used as collateral no more will they take it away from them in the name of Jesus Christ so the one that is tired the, the, the one that has been discouraged that don't that wants to abandon business abandon their work and wash their neck no more will they abandon because the grace of of God is sufficient in the name of Jesus. I pray this prayer upon every widow, every widow. I pray upon every married, every every unmarried. I pray for every single. I pray, oh God, for those in relationship. I pray for every student, every worker, everyone in business. I pray, oh Lord God Almighty. I pray for the adult. I pray for men of God, women of God, people in authority. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for mothers. I pray for those in the labor room. I pray for those who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I pray the Spirit upon anyone, everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, so shall it be. I release the apostle benediction upon you as I'm commanded by the Spirit of God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your house, upon whatsoever I am fired to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Omega, beginning and the end grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace now and forever more. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Amen. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Somebody was asking me during the service. I couldn't stop the broadcast to answer that person because God first. Somebody is asking me, how do I subscribe? If you want to subscribe, go to the top of the page. There is a button at the top of the page. Um, I don't know if you are facing it. It should be towards your right. At the top, at the top, top of this page, of this page, you see their support, supporters. So it's coming there as supporters. But when you click, become a supporter. That supporter is how to subscribe. Once you press that, it will, it will lead you to how to subscribe. Praise God. I want to thank God for those who are subscribing to the page and also those who are going to be led by God to to be giving stars and everything like that. By so doing, you help our page grow. Thank God for what Facebook is doing now. So as you do that, you help us grow. That's just it. We are able, this charity is able to go far and be a blessing as much as God wants it to do. As you share the broadcast, you help us also to go far, to be a blessing and you save soul. You are part of what is going on. As you make your comment, it helps the, the page to grow. Your comments are very powerful. It helps the page to grow. And also as you're pressing the emoticon, it helps the page to grow. If you feel that this is a message that can bless somebody. This is, you do it by conviction that God put in your mind. If you think it's something that will bless somebody, 
then share. If you share it on your wall, share in groups as you are led. No, no force at all. If you are able to do five, fine. You are able to do ten, fine. As you are led, God bless you. If you are able to subscribe today, go ahead. If you are not able to subscribe today, when you can, go ahead. No problem. God bless you. I thank God that I know that there are angels that have been sent to work with the apostle so that this work of God can go far and be a blessing to as many that he is commanded us to be a blessing to. God bless all those that God is using to give donations, whether tithe, offering. God bless you as the Lord is leading you. God honor you. To those who are making comments, the ministries, God bless you. God honor you. To those who are ready and willing and asking even during the broadcast, how do I subscribe? God bless you. But I'm sorry I didn't answer you then because I needed to finish the work of God. But now I'm just telling you, go to the top of the page and you see their supporter. Anytime you see that supporter, it simply means once you click on it, you see subscribe. That's it. Okay? And as God leads you, may God bless you. God bless you as you subscribe to the page. God bless you. Now, I want to say if you're watching us from the YouTube, please just press that press that subscription button also on the YouTube. So if, if, you're, if you have a YouTube channel, just press subscription button or press the bell. So that way you will know whenever we have upload and you will be also, you'll be current. Okay. And if you don't have a channel, it's okay. Just type Jumbo Isong into the search engine or Unbounded House search and you'll see. You'll see what we have there and you'll be blessed. Now, those of you who are on Facebook with me, you can press follow on the page. Okay. You can press follow on the page and you can press that supporter, which is like subscribing. So if you subscribe that way it's helping the page grow and you will know whenever we have new upload and to get to our page, let's say you're watching me on the YouTube. You now want to locate us on the Facebook type at Jumbo Isong at J U M B O I S O N G into the search engine search and missionary outreach mountain of PPP will come up straight away. And then you can like, and you can like, uh, and after like, which when you like it automatically follows automatic it follows automatically but it doesn't automatically subscribe so you have to come to the top of the page and click that supporter and subscribe that's how you can subscribe god bless you god honor you now please if you have any question if you have any counseling if, if you need any counseling or you have it dreams and you need interpretation by the leading of the spirit then you can leave us a message on the page you can leave us a message on facebook messenger you can leave us a message through whatsapp all you need to do is use the number plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four the number is on the page and it's on my profile wall jumbo isong in bracket uyuata god bless you as you make good use of these provisions okay i all messages that have been sent to the apostle we are up to date with reply everything and those who are sharing again i say god bless you all those who are celebrating their birthday today in jesus name many more days you celebrate in the land of the living the lord bless you the lord honor you the lord grant you joy upon joy today and may the lord make your joy to be overflowing in jesus name everyone in jesus name that is also connected to what god is doing on this mountain that is celebrating their birthday this week the lord honor you even my brother god bless you man of god god bless you manuel isong god bless you man of god god bless you sir and i'm believing that everyone that god is giving the grace to celebrate today will be a great day for you and your entire household in the name of jesus christ may i quickly say on this mountain that my name is apostle jumbo isong and please permit me to sign up my usual way god punish the devil punish 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 the lord rebuke the devil rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. So shall it be, so shall it be, so shall it be in Jesus' name. I couldn't sign out completely without appreciating men and women of God. It's our, it's our tradition on the mountain. So permit me to quickly do that. I want to thank you, Kamin J. It was nice to see you, Kamin J. Kamin J is in the house. God bless you. God bless you, darling MD. Yay, darling MD, God bless you. God bless you, Julia A. Julia A, you have been looking for my trouble from the WhatsApp group. And uh, um, don't look for my trouble on this mountain. God bless you, man of God. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Engineer Ubongo Basinemeke. God bless you, man of God. Thank God for you and everything God is using to do. God bless you. 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 Holy say, where have you been? Where have you been? God bless you, man of God. 
Oh, holy say, God bless you. Oh, holy say, God bless you. God lift you up. Thanks for everything God is using to do. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you, man of God, woman of God. God bless you. Miracle Chibweze, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Prince Miracle Chibweze. God bless you. Thank you for everything. God bless you, Prince. God bless you, Prince Sopru. God bless you, Sopru Obi. Prince Sopru Obi. God bless you. God bless you. Connie O and Isaac is in the house. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. Only say, God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Nice to have you in the house, man of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. More grace in Jesus' name. God bless you, Mrs. Akonji. God bless you, Mrs. Akonji. God bless you, Katesha Douglas. God bless you. God bless you, Katesha Douglas. God bless you. You. God lift you up. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Orlando. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Kediana M. God bless you. Jocelyn H. God bless you. God bless you. Georgia Anavas. God bless you. Shamika Smith. God bless you. Carol B. God bless you. God lift you up. God honor you. God lift you up. Fred Daniel is in the house. Fred, my brother. God bless you, sir. God bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you wilson patricia god bless you god bless you wilson patricia god bless you carol campbell god bless you god bless you kuntumi joy overflow god bless you kuntumi joy overflow god bless you god bless you julia b god bless you christiana do name god bless you 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 in jesus name lawrence you God bless you, Lawrence. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. Nathaniel Isson, God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless Afola Shademi. God bless Afola Shademi. A A. God bless you. Olichi A M. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. And J. God bless you. God bless you. Athna F D. God bless you. Athna F D. Jeff Pell. God bless you. God lift you up. Lean Mingli. God bless you. Leon Mingli. God bless you. God bless you. In your bunk, I woman of God. God bless. God bless you, Obong Owan. God bless you, Udwak Obong Achibong. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, Yemi O. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up, Ginny P. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. E. E. Friday. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. E. E. Friday. Elizabeth N. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Angelica. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, Angelica M. God bless you, Katie U. O. God bless you, Ruth O. God bless you. God bless you. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Imabong. Inyang, God bless you. God bless you, Mabong Inyang. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. Olu Bukola me. God bless Olu Bukola. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Ye one day, Kuti. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. MK, God bless you. Jada J, God bless you. Jada, where is Jada? Where have you been? Jada J, God bless you. Olubu me S, God bless you. Olubu me Shogba Day, God bless you. Man of God, God bless you. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Caro King B, God bless you. God bless you. Barbara T, God bless you. Barbara T. God bless you, Barbara T. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you, Barbara T. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Mommy, God bless you, man of God. God bless you, mama. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. E O is song. God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. Allah, Allah be God bless you. Allah be Oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Allah be Terry S. God bless you, Terry. God bless you, L. In Gazi. God bless you, Jonah. God bless you, Jonah S. God bless you, Jonah. God bless you. God bless you, Jonah S. E. E. Friday. God bless you. I acknowledge, man of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Permit me to stop at this point. God bless you, Frank Clark. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. God lift you up. God bless you, Cynthia K. Mama. God bless you, Cynthia K. God lift you up. God bless anyone, everyone on this mountain. God lift you up. God honor you. God bless you. God bless you real good. God bless you. God bless you. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of God. God bless you. Next broadcast will be on Sunday. And I hope by the message of God, we'll be able to catch up on Sunday. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.